R.I.P. PC Gaming. Like, holy fucking shit. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've been considering for a while to uh, to try Xbox Game Pass. I wanted to check it out and experience it and uh, look into this thing. And uh, <laughs> like just a couple of minutes of looking through this, and I'm just like, yeah, this is definitely uh, this is definitely amazing. Look at this shit. Like you can download all of this uh, for play now until it get, goes off the service. And there's a bunch of stuff, and uh, a lot of it's gonna stay on here, I think, for a while. So you should have plenty of time to play everything. And if you like the games you're playing, you can just buy them. So it's a really great service. I'm really happy about this. Um, <laughs> pretty reasonable monthly subscription fee and uh, way, way better than PlayStation Now. Um, I think it... I think it's um, definitely safe to say this is, a, this is a, a success. Like, it has a bunch of things on there that you wouldn't expect to see. Uh, you know, uh, Final Fantasy 7 and 9, they skipped 8, but they have 15. They have the Yakuza games. They have um, all three Fable games. I already own two and three, but I... Anniversary was overpriced, so it was actually cheaper for me to subscribe to Xbox Game Pass than to uh, to buy this game outright so I can try it. I, I think that's the main appeal, appeal for this for me, this service. It lets me try games without having to buy them. Like, RIP PC Gaming, because this is a better method of getting people to try... Like, Steam sales... Thing of a past, like thing, thing of the past, because this is uh, definitely very impressed with this so far. Um, of course, like one, I think one of the best things about this is that like I can re-download games I already own on other platforms, like Kingdom Hearts. Not sure I would have bought it again on uh, Xbox One, but I, I did download uh, one and two for this collection, and I probably will play through them again on stream. Uh, one at least. Uh, it's been like a year since I played one. I'm itching to play it again. Uh, Monster Hunter World wouldn't have bought wouldn't have bought it for uh, personal reasons. Uh, now I have a method to play it. Um, Near Automata uh, now finally got a hand hold of it. Uh, no Man's Sky. Uh, yes, I will be playing No Man's Sky um, without having to give them money. Well, I suppose I suppose they make money somehow off of this, but yeah, it's gonna take a while for me to download a lot of this stuff. Uh, I'm downloading Soul Calibur 6 right now, and I think that's a kind of a big one. So yeah, um, definitely very happy with the service so far from what I've seen. Uh, I like the lineup. Uh, I like the price point. I uh, like basically everything about it. Um, let's see, is it playable yet? Or yeah, I think we're gonna have to stick with Ninja Gaiden Black for now. I was playing Ninja Gaiden Black, but I was uh, I decided like yeah, let's sign up for Xbox Game Pass, and I get Ninja Gaiden 2 on the service, so that's kind of nice. Um, like, it's, it's a great way to keep people playing older games. Uh, honestly, like, I think Game Pass, I'm already, like, considering getting an Xbox One S. Just for, like, to make sure I can play everything on there. Because, like, they, they said they were, um... I would love to play Dead or Alive 4 someday. Like, there, there's lots of old Xbox games I would want to play, right? But, uh... Oh, yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked. Yeah, no wonder I stopped playing this, because I was getting completely demolished. I wanted to take a break, and I was like, yeah, I might as well stop and sign up for Xbox Game Pass. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I definitely want to wanna play some Soul Calibur VI. Like, I've... Um... Oh, and, and the, another thing about Xbox Game Pass, it comes with Xbox Live Gold, so it technically... Uh, it technically comes at a... It's technically um, worth paying for just for that. Honestly, that's one of the major reasons I decided to do it, because... You know, I've been wanting to be, play Halo Online for a while. So, like, I, I thought to invest... Let, let's invest in Xbox Live. Let, let's invest in uh, Game Pass. And, um, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with uh, with the results so far. Oops. Ah. Of course, now we got to wait for the games to download, which is going to take forever because, ugh, you know, these games are so big. But, all right. I think once we uh, we get one game going, we'll be fine. And uh, Soul Calibur Six isn't taking too long. So the instant, like, the notification pops up and tells us we can play it, we are going to play it. Um, so what do I all have? What did I all decide to download? Uh, hang on, let me look. I might as well show you everything I decided to uh, to download here. I, I didn't do it on stream, so I'm just like, okay. Let's see. Uh, Cued Ace Combat 7. Looking forward to that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, wait, what? No? 
Shit. Okay, so I, I own these physically. So some t so it tells you if it's also on Game Pass. So you can download it again if you want to. I guess. Okay, so Darksiders 3, Dishonored, Fable, Elder Scrolls Online, uh, Final Fantasy 15. Why, why is there two Final Fantasy 15s? Uh, Grounded, Halo 5, Halo Wars 2, Halo Wars Definitive Edition, Halo Spartan Assault, Master Chief Collection. Uh, let's see. I thought I got Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct 2 Classic. Killer Instinct Classic, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Monster Hunter World, uh, Ori, No Man's Sky, Ninja Gaiden 2, which is hype. Uh, fucking Power Rangers. Because so many people told me this game is good, and I did not believe them. Resident Evil 7, I will no longer have to play the inferior PC version. I have it on Xbox One, uh, Xbox Game Pass. Uh, sea of Thieves, I'll get to try that. <laughs> I'll actually get to play modern Rare games just because they're on Game Pass. Uh, Soul Calibur 6 and the Yakuza games. Oh, and Tekken 7. Like, these are a lot of these games are uh, things I own on other platforms, like Tekken 7 I own on PC, things like that. Um, so that's kind of the interesting thing about Game Pass to me. Like, it's going to, like, get me playing games on Xbox One that I already own. So uh, that's that's kind of a... That's one of the things... That's one of, the, that's one of the, uh, the strong points of it that I think a lot of people aren't really uh, taking into account. The backwards compatibility aspect. Like, a lot of people are going to be discovering older games because of Game Pass. Like, people are just going to be, like, looking for a game. Like, I, I'm, I'm signed on to, like, Xbox Game Pass. Let's see what they have on there. They're going to discover shit like Yakuza, Nier Automata, uh, Tekken 7. Like, stuff they wouldn't... They might not have uh, played when they first came out, right? Ninja Gaiden 2, like... Like, these are, these are games that might have been, like, overlooked when they first came out. But they're, like, legitimately really, uh, really popular classics, right? Here we go. So yeah, I, I think this is gonna be big. Actually, uh, I I'm uh, now that I've uh, subscribed to it, I think it's a I think it's a big deal. Like I don't think PlayStation is gonna be able to compete with this shit. Like I really really don't. Like I I think the big issue is like the cost because uh, how how much are developers making off of uh, off of Game Pass? Like how much is Microsoft paying them? Like I don't think I don't think um, Sony is gonna be able to compete with that. Like, I really don't. Like, uh, PlayStation Now has been a disaster. Like, I've been talking about this year for years, but, like, uh, the streaming service thing was a complete, like, was a complete flop because you didn't need a streaming service. You needed, like, you needed, like, uh, first things first. You needed to have an online digital platform. Like, I, I think Microsoft making these games downloadable is what's going to make it successful. Like, you don't stream it the way the... Alright. You don't stream it like Google Stadia is making you, like they just have you download the games. All right. So I guess that, like I'm an Xbox I'm an Xbox fan now. Like I think Game Pass, like in and of itself, is kind of uh It's kind of something that's kind of made me a, a believer in them. Well, not really a believer. Uh Probably just my go-to thing to play uh, third-party games because there, there's been too many times where like I've bought an indie game on Switch and it just being garbage. Like Nintendo really has a problem with their quality control when it comes to like their downloadable games. Like a lot of the shit on there isn't really worth talking about, unfortunately. Um, there's plenty of stuff that is really good, but all right, here we go. Yeah, so I gotta look into getting an Xbox One S. Shit. Which I was not planning on doing, but uh, if Game Pass is this good... I mean, here's the thing, here's the thing. Do we really need, like... Do I really need a new Xbox? Like, I, I feel almost as if, like, Game Pass should work with um, older models. Like, how exactly is it gonna, this gonna work? Like, can I still play, like, backwards compatible games? Like, what games are gonna be exclusive to, like, the 1S? Like, do I have to upgrade? It's just... I'm kinda confused about that, but... Uh, Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm playing Ninja Gaiden Black, uh, which is amazing, by the way. Um, I, I kind of, I'm, ter I'm terrible at it, but uh, I really, really love this game. Um, far, far better than Devil May Cry for sure, and, and way more difficult too. Um, yeah, if Devil May Cry ever comes out on an Xbox Game Pass, I'll be, like, I'll be sure to like play it and uh, make fun of it, like riff it. Like I'm not gonna 
pay for it, of course not. I don't understand how anyone, anyone could think that, like, Devil May Cry is better than this. Like, maybe if you're, like, a... The only thing I can think of is if you're a PlayStation fanboy who simply doesn't own an Xbox. Like, that, that's all I can really come up with. Because, like, Devil May Cry can't stand up to this. Like, like this is on a, on a completely different level. Look at what's happening here. Look at, like, the fighting. Look at the combos. Like, it's just so much more intense. And... The enemy designs are better, the bosses are better. Like, what does Real Talk like what does Devil May Cry have over this? Like, I, I know I've talked like about this like incessantly, but like when it comes to like Ninja Gaiden versus like Devil May Cry, it's not even a contest. Like Ninja Gaiden all the way. Like Ninja Gaiden all the way, man. Like what does Ninja Gaiden has had way more failures than successes. In fact, I would argue it hasn't really had a real success ever. It's just ugh. you know, this is one of the best action games ever made. One of the best. Like, maybe Bayonetta's better. Uh, I don't know. I, I think Bayonetta's a bit more accessible. It's a bit, like, smoother. It's a bit less, like, punishing. I don't know. Like, Bayonetta is able to, like, balance being really, really hardcore while still being, like, playable to, like, normies. Which I think is really, really important for a game. It's, it's very Nintendo-ish in design. Uh, this is, like, very, very uh, unforgiving. Harder than Dark Souls, actually. Uh, that's another thing I thought of. Like, wow. If a Dark Souls fan played this, they would piss themselves. Because, like, uh, the enemies will actually chase you. They have, like, a variety of attacks. Oh, here we go. Shit, I didn't mean to go. That was a complete accident, but it, it worked out for me just fine. Right. Yeah, if I had played this when I was a kid, this would legit be, like, one of my favorite games ever, I think. Uh, like, the thing for me right now... Um, I don't know, like, as an adult, like, I play so much shit, it's really difficult for me to, like, find new favorites. Like, I don't know, I, I play stuff like Pikmin 3, like, obsessively, loved it, and then, I don't want to say I forgot about it, but it's, like, it, it's not my favorite thing ever, you know what I mean? Like, I think, like, Pikmin 3 is a way better game than the original, but, like, because I grew up with the original, that's the one I prefer. Like, that's the one I like better. And I think, unfortunately, that's kind of becoming true with a lot of other great games I've been playing. Like, Yakuza 5, like, if I had played that when it first came out, like, that would have been um, probably one of my favorite games of the year. But, like, <laughs> it took me a while to play through it. Um, yes, I got three Yakuza games because of a Game Pass. I'm so excited to start playing them. That's actually the main reason I wanted wa I wanted to start, because I, <laughs> I wanted Game Pass, because I couldn't decide, like, which Yakuza game to buy first. I wanted, like... I was torn between, like, Zero and Kiwami, and I was just like, I, I think I will just get Game Pass and then just play whatever. Damn, fuck. Bro, I can't even beat these demons consistently. Like, I did it once, and it was amazing, but fuck. Like, this game is brutal, man. It really is. I want to say, like, it's uh, probably one of the hardest games I've ever played. I don't know. I, I can't think of anything harder. Like, it, it feels like... Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing about it. Uh... Like, it's really difficult, but it's, like, legitimately difficult. Like, there's always something you can do. Like, if, if you die, it's because it's your fault. It's not like Battletoads or something, where it's uh, really, really cheap. There we go. See? Like, that was easily uh, avoidable, but I, I failed because I saw the health and I wanted to get it. But Like, see, it's brutal. Like, I can't think of any other game, like, in any other genre that just murders you like this. While still being, like, fair about it. Like, I think that's the big thing that makes this, like, great. Is that, like, it's so brutal, but it's, like, not... It's not because of the, uh... It's not because of the, uh... It's not because the game is cheap or broken. It's because, like, it just... It's just that well, uh, It expects that much of you. It's so... So complex. There's so much you can do. There's, there's so much going on. Here we go. I, and I'm, and this, I've never beaten this game before, okay? So I actually have no idea what this game is like on the higher difficulties. So uh, when I finally get started on that, I, I do intend to, like, uh, play through this game on every difficulty. Um, once I finally get started on that, uh, it's going to be, like, a really momentous thing, I think. Uh, it, it's such a shame that these games don't really get made anymore. Uh, Itagaki was uh, Definitely, I think, uh, a creator that actually deserved the hype, which is, I think, is very, very rare. Like, I don't think Inafune is all that talented. I don't think, like, uh, Ono or any of these other guys. Uh, even, like, Iga, I don't think, is, like, w one of the best developers of all time, right? Like, he's just a guy who made Castlevania. Like, and that's fine. Like, I love Iga's games, right? But it's like, oh, fuck. 
Like, when it comes to, like, masterful, like, 10 out of 10 games, like, I, I can't think of a whole lot of people outside of Nintendo. Like, maybe Hideki Kamiya, like, with the wonderful one one in Bayonetta, but, like, Itagaki, man. If he, like, had not been kicked out of Tecmo, like, I... I he would legit have been, like, making some of the best games of all time, I think. Like, unfortunately, he wasn't able to recover, because, like, again, like, Itagaki's great. Like, he is, like, a legit talent. Like, I think that's, uh, recognized. That's very, very clear. Like, whenever someone is very, very involved with, like, the production of a project, uh, directly responsible, like, if that person leaves, you'll, you'll see a, uh, you'll see a quality decline immediately. So, uh, with Kojima, uh, the Metal Gear games kept getting worse and worse, even with him. But with Itagaki, uh... The quality in Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive like dropped immensely. It's just ugh. like it's uh, it's sad to say, but oof. I I really wish that like Nintendo had managed to like get him a studio or whatever. Like you know just bought out Valhalla, had them make like a Devil's Third Two like from scratch for Nintendo Switch. Have it be like the premier third person like realistic third person action game for Switch, right? Like. If they start restarted production on Nintendo hardware, they would have been. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm getting destroyed. Like I am just awful at this. Like I was doing so well before now. I was doing so well before I started to suck. Yeah. And in Dead or May Cry, you would just, like, you know, mash triangle, dodge a couple of times against very slow enemies. We haven't even gotten to the boss yet, which, uh, by the way, is, like, more impressive than, um, uh, this one boss in this one chapter, uh, I think is, like, more, is, like, a better boss than, like, anything in any Devil May Cry game. Like, going by what I, I've seen from this game, like, the boss fights are just phenomenal, uh. Alright, shit. I love this game so much, though. I have a near, I have near Atoma, uh, Atomata now, so uh, on Xbox Game Pass, so I, I definitely want to play that. Actually, I think I will be playing primarily playing Xbox after the foreseeable future, trying to get through like all the Game Pass games before they like go off or whatever, because I, I can't imagine they would stick around for long. Oh shit! All right, here we go. I love how like Devil May Cry fanboys will tell you that like the Flying Swallow is so overpowered that it would just that it just kills everyone. Oh fuck. It doesn't work that way. It has, like, lots of weaknesses. Uh, Devil May Cry fans are so full of shit when, like, they're trying to criticize Ninja Gaiden. Like, like trying to call it, like, I don't know, uh, try to call it easier. Like, trying to shit on Itagaki. Like, I don't know. It's just, they're so delusional, man. Like, this is kind of like... You know how, like, I'm always talking about how the Tomb Raider games are so much better than uh, all of the uh, Uncharted games? Like, this is that, but for, like, Ninja Gaiden. Like, going going through this one hallway, I think, is, like, more fun than anything I've ever done in any Ninja Devil May Cry game, like, ever. Like, Devil, Devil May Cry is just badly made from start to finish. I heard you. Alright. Especially the later ones. Holy shit. Like, honestly, like, I, w I would say the only one that remotely resembles a game that I would enjoy is maybe the first one, and uh, that's just remotely. Like, the first, I think the, the first one was the only one that I was ever really entertained by. Um, third one, I, I think it, like, had a strong opening, but then, like, after that, it was like, yeah, It's just rehashy bullshit. It's not interesting to play, like, oof. Like, the demons in this are cooler looking, they're more fun to fight. Oh, shit, look at that. The enemies, like... Yeah, like, how many times have I come down here and he only just now whips out that attack? Like, they have so many different moves. Like, their AI is so good. Like, they'll do completely different things. Like, on, like, whims. It's great. They're, like, real warriors that uh, adapt, depending on the situation. They don't feel like they're... They behave in patterns. Uh, wow. Shit. How much longer do I have to go? Yeah, a while. Yeah, Biohazard, Fable, Banjo-Kazooie. I, I wanted to, like, um, stream Banjo-Kazooie, because I think it's about time. I wanted to uh, play some Banjo-Tooie. I was uh, 
I was planning on like popping in my N64 and finishing it again, but I was like, eh, let's let's go ahead and play some Banjo Kazooie as well uh, on stream. I might as well play them both back to back. Um, like I love Banjo Kazooie; it's one of my favorite games ever. So like I, I could play that whenever. But I've never finished Tui. It's one of those games that I just never got around to playing. And uh, yeah, I, I think I am gonna try to finish it here soon. That, that's probably gonna be my focus uh, off stream is. Uh, is playing like some of these old N64 games. Like I was playing Pokemon Stadium 2 today. Actually, I spent like all of today playing all these great N64 games. Uh, Mario Kart 64. Played through like every single track. Uh, <laughs> yeah, apparently, like some for some reason, for some reason, like my title screen in Mario Kart 64 was like went back to the basic one. I'm not sure if like the game deleted its data or whatever, but um, I basically just ended up clearing the entire game and getting my. Uh, my 100% title screen back, which is great. I uh, played some f X, which was great. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing I'm playing through right now, which is great. Kind of love how, like, I'm in a real rare, rare-ish mood right now. Let's here we go. Oh, yeah, and I technically own Battletoads now, so uh, now I get to play that game that I spent, like, so much so much time bitching about. Oh, here we go. Fuck. I can't believe I can't get through this hallway. What is wrong with me? Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Fuck. Yeah, there can only be one. All right, here we go. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's aggressive. Okay, we got him. Yeah, I need to get good at this game. Like, I feel like I, I'm still, like... I still don't have my combos memorized. Because I've noticed that, like, they're good against different kinds of enemies. Which is one of the reasons this game is so much better than DMC. Because, like, in DMC, you just, like, sort of mash, like... The, the gun. You sort of mash the attack button and, like, alternate between shooting to, like, keep your combos up. Like, this is so much more in-depth. Like, your attacks are, like, completely radically different from one another and you have to... They affect enemies in a different way. Like, you don't want to kick, like, a demon, for example, because it won't flinch. Like, it's, um... It takes a while to learn, but it's so, so satisfying. Here we go. Oops. Look at how they leap in. Isn't that badass as shit? Like, they don't... They don't... <laughs> they know exactly what they're doing. Right, here we go. And I love the beheadings. Ah. Alright, but I need to stop sucking, uh, for sure. I was getting to the demons, like, with no problems uh, before I went live. But, like, you know, I, I signed up for Xbox Game Pass. and uh, You know how it is. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, now that I have, like, Xbox Live, uh, I am able to play Gears and Halo Online, so I can play that with people, so if anybody's interested, I might as well, like, stream it, and, uh, people can just hop in whenever, I think, and then we could just, uh, play some Halo, Oops. which I'm really looking forward to, actually, I love, like, two-player Halo. Two-player Halo is, like, the shit, dude. Oof. I love that as a kid. Alright, here we go. wondering when uh, Bloodborne's gonna come to PC. Because I don't... I'm not sure how much longer, like, PlayStation can keep that game hostage. Oh, is Sekiro on Game... I thought Sekiro was on Game Pass. I, I guess they must have removed it. Yeah, I would be interested in playing that. But that's the thing. There, there's a bunch of games I would like to try, but, like, I know I'm not gonna like... Like, I just wanna... You know, I would want to be able to play Sekiro and then say that, like, yeah, this isn't Game of the Year. This is a piece of shit. Like, I don't, I don't like um, shitting on games that I don't know anything about. Oops. And that's kind of been the case for the past couple of years, where people have been trying to tell me that, like, Sekiro is one of the greatest games ever, and it's not. Like, it's basically already been forgotten now that it's a, won its Game of the Year awards. Hmm. And what I like doing is just wailing on him. Oh, shit! Okay, these things do way too much damage. What difficulty am I playing on? Is this really normal? Or did I raise it? Am I... Okay. 
but I want the authentic Ninja Gaiden experience. It, it feels like normal, because like the the AI isn't like super complicated, but I have no idea what I'm doing. There we go. There, I got him. Easy. Shit, yeah. They, have, they sometimes have weird hitboxes. Like when they turn around, they can smack you with their tails. It's kind of odd. And they kind of dick around sometimes, too. They're weird enemies. They're strong as fuck, but... Like, their AI isn't the best. All right. Oh, shit, he got me. I love how the fire hits me less than, like, the tail smacks. I forgot shit. So don't get behind them, and you're gonna get fucked. All right. All right. Okay, I beat the demons. So you beat these demons, and then you fight this thing. Oh, here we go. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, like the camera won't stay focused on it. Like, it's just... Okay. Like, I can't combo it because of the way it moves. This is what I mean when I say Ninja Gaiden is better, because... Than Devil May Cry. Because, like, Devil May Cry doesn't have anything like this. Like, at best, it has that, like, that jelly boss, which is lame as fuck. Where you, what do you do? You, like... Oh, wait. Can I... Do I have a bow? Oh, shit. How do I use the bow again? How do I use the bow? Wait a minute. I forget how to use the bow. Wait, projectile weapons. Oh, fuck. You kidding, Are you kidding me? All right. Uh, let's see if this works. Yeah, the, uh, the bow isn't the best, but I, I think that's what you're supposed to do. I see eyes, so... Uh, Alright, pokey pokey. Wait. Stay open, you piece of shit. Right. Come on. Damn. Alright, uh... Yeah, I don't want to do this again, because I, I want to win. Fuck, what was that? Now I don't have any bows. Uh, I don't have any arrows. Yeah, but I have a bow, but no arrow. Uh, Armlets. Shit. Alright. Maybe I can try the uh, the ninja spell. Here we go. Uh, the Art of the Inferno. Let's see how this works. Uh... Oh, yeah. That was, that was great, Ryu. Uh, that did a ton of damage. Oh, it's better than nothing. Holy shit! Okay. Okay, I take it back. I was joking. Alright. So, are you supposed to cut it out? Like, okay. Are you supposed to cut it when it's just... Holy shit. Alright. Oops. Oh, well, now there's only one of them. It shouldn't be too... Damn. Alright. Uh... Oh, it grows back? Shit, alright, we are so fucked. Uh, well, how am I supposed to hack at it? Alright, there we go. There we go, got it. Damn, what a piece of shit, alright. Damn, alright. Am I playing too aggressively? There we go. Oh, Flying Swallow, okay. Perfect. Oh, fuck. But it still swiggles, alright. Still swiggling a lot. Okay. I hate this boss, so I'm gonna... Okay, I think I got it. Hopefully it doesn't grow them back. Okay, so that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just cut off the tentacles uh, with the strong attacks, and then... Oops. So why can't you hurt it when it has tentacles? Like, what sense does that make? I could understand it if, like, okay, you don't want to... You don't want to hit it before you, you cut off the tentacles, but like it's somehow invincible, so you have to cut off the tentacles first. Okay, this is great. This this really is one of the best action games of all time. I would yeah, I would say like since this is pure action rather than like QTEs, I'm tempted to say this boss is like better than Bayonetta because uh, Bayonetta is so scripted. Oops. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe better isn't the right word. Like different in a good way is uh, a better way to put it. Yep, easy. I got it. I got it! 
Oh man, I had to use a lot of items, but I, I did it. Oops, here we go. Oh, did I? Oh, did I? Oh no, he has a little bit of health left. Okay. Do I have to do it again? I guess he can still get me. Shit. If he gets me now, I'm gonna be so pissed. Uh, here we go. It's like that thing in Hollow Knight, the bro the brooding Moloch. Oops, here we got shit. Got him. Oh, yes. Finally. How long did that take? Damn it, these cutscenes are gorgeous. Oh, and you rip Rachel out. Oh. Damn. I couldn't let those titties go to race. Shit. Seriously, though, her boobs are amazing. Shit. Was that a fiend as well? I've never seen one like that. If uh, I could live in the Itagaki verse, I would. Strange. Uh. So many of them. Definitely top tier women. Oh. Oh, best girl Ayana. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, wait, how old is Ayana in this? <laughs> Just like, I don't know why I should have to ask these questions, but... Oh, Ayana, the totally legal ninja Ayane. woman. Uh. Running errands for Mirai again, I see. The boldness of the fiends is the work of the dark dragon. It is a cursed blade, bestowing an unfathomable strength on those wicked enough to wield it. As we speak, its power that would explain the stirring in my blood. 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 Dominates all humankind, assisted by the power of the fiend. I don't know what you're talking about. Ayane, take care of Rachel. Understood. Ryu, I've heard there is a hidden path under the monastery that leads to the Emperor's palace. Dooku will also be there. All right, so we got to fight Dooku from Star Wars. <laughs> okay. All right. That was awesome. I loved it. Holy shit, it's the Riddler. Uh. I love the character designs in this game so much. Like, I don't know what it is, but they all just work really well. Uh, the uh, female ones particularly. Honestly, like, I would say, like, the female characters in uh, Itagaki games, people always give them shit for being overtly sexualized, but I think they're, like, cool as fuck. Like, I don't think, um... Like, I I'll make jokes about, like, Rachel's titties, but, like, I legit think, like, she's a really cool uh, really, really well-designed character, and uh, Ayane is, like, really nice, too. Greater Ninja. Oh, wow, I'm a Greater Ninja. What's the, uh, how's the ranking system work in this? Okay, let's, uh, save it. Yeah, six hours? It's taken me this long to get this far. Wow, that's embarrassing. This game isn't that long, is it? Oops, here we go. Uh, wait, is, are they still back here or are they gone? Yep, they just disappeared. Yeah, I think <laughs> they just disappeared into thin air. All right, whatever. Uh, so that was a really good boss fight. Holy shit. I am so impressed with this game. Uh, I, I can only imagine how much better it is on higher difficulties. Uh, bats? Oh, no, I'm fighting bats. You know what? Like, you know what, what the proof is that games have gotten worse? Um, games haven't really improved on this. Like... I, I can definitely see room for improvement here. Like, obviously, like, bigger areas is a pretty good example. Maybe, like, better stories and voice acting and things like that. But uh, uh, no developer has really done it. Like, Ninja Gaiden 3 is a major, major step downward. Actually, like, the reason I was so fired up about playing this is that uh, I played Ninja Gaiden 3 on Wii U. And uh, I thought it was, like, simultaneously, like, the coolest thing ever. But, like, also really, really awful. So, like, I, I knew that I had to play the, the first two. And, um, yeah, as I expected, the first... The one that I played, uh, the first one, is just the greatest thing ever. Like, I'm a big Ninja Gaiden fan, but I've never, I've never beaten like uh, one or two. I, I've beaten the, uh, I've beaten three, and I've beaten the NES trilogy, but like not the actual, you know, goat games, the uh, the hack and slash games. I suppose like the original NES one is a is a classic in its own right, but uh, I don't think people will call it like one of the best games ever made the way that like people will uh, refer to this one. Uh, here we go. Map of the monastery. Alright, here we go. 
Another save point? How many save points are there? Well, anyway. Uh... Is this where I was supposed to go, or should I go the other way? I mean, I guess I could just explore. That's one. Of, that's one of the really, really cool things I love about this game. Uh, you actually do get to explore and like find things. Like it, it feels a lot more organic than Bayonetta, which again is like very, very linear and scripted. It has like a lot of backtracking for like stupid shit. Like, um, I don't know. Both games have like strengths and weaknesses, but I don't think anybody seriously like analyzed it. I've never heard anyone compare, like, Bayonetta and uh, Ninja Gaiden. Like, it's always Bayonetta and Devil May Cry, and of course Bayonetta's way better than Devil May Cry in every way, but uh, Bayonetta and Ninja Gaiden, I'm not sure. Like, I really, really, really like both, and I don't really know uh, which one I prefer. I would say that, like, you know, I, I think once I uh, master Ninja Gaiden, this, this is probably it. Uh, once I master it, I probably will prefer Bayonetta, uh, just on, on the basis of, like, you, you know, it's like the Donkey Kong Country 2 thing. I, I, I really, really liked two more than the original before I got good at it, before I mastered it, and now I'm just sort of like I love the game but, uh, but like, there's something about the the original that just speaks to me on a personal level, and uh, I think Bayonetta is one of those things that just speaks to me on a personal level um, for a lot of ways, and like, I, I love Ninja Gaiden as well, and uh, in a lot of ways it's I get the same feeling from it, but I think Bayonetta is, like, even more of that, if that makes any sense. Ah. Oh! Shit. Now that I... Now that I, uh, I didn't actually bother looking at my screen, because uh, I lowered my frame rate for the uh, the YouTube streams. So, yeah, I lowered the, the frame rate for the, uh, the videos so that they could render properly when I'm, like, reacting to stuff, and it it looks like it messes with the uh, the gameplay footage. I didn't notice that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to keep changing that in between gameplay streams. Uh, I'm gonna have to, like, get a different... get some kind of, like, different, I don't know, thing for gameplay streams, and then... I don't know. I don't want to change it, like, every single time I go live. That's just stupid. I mean, I know how to fix it, but yeah. It's one of those things... I don't know. Should I stop doing gameplay streams? I don't know. Oof. Shit. The Book of Genesis? Wait. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't the Book of Genesis I'm familiar with. I was just like, wait a minute, I thought this game was about to get biblical on us. Okay. So Ninja Gaiden has its own Bible, its own book of Genesis? Okay, whatever. So do I have to, like, read read up on this world's, uh, on the Ninja Gaiden religion to understand this? Oh, here we go. So I think you can backtrack to, like, the store or whatever. Which is kind of weird, but I don't know. It's better than like what what fucking Devil May Cry does with like its mission system. I just I hate that shit. Like you're exploring a castle or a town or whatever. Like how there be a store? Like shit. Why do you upgrade in between mission screens? That's stupid. But anyway, uh, I, I think we, maybe we should backtrack and go back to the store and see if we can upgrade my ninja sword again. Uh, if I can figure out where it is. The thing about this game is, uh, the map is so big, it's like, it's really hard to know where you are sometimes. Like, the ninjas always, like, come out and, like, harass you, so, no matter what you do, so it's like, eh. I don't know, how many ninjas can they afford to send? Like, it feels like they're limitless. Like, they always come at, come at you, like, as you walk down certain areas, no matter what. And, and I think that's kind of, um, that kind of speaks to the volume, uh, the quality of this game's, uh, combat system, and that, like, you never really mind when, like, an enemy comes after you. Uh, here we go. Yep, this is a save point.
Yeah, if I could change my resolution, I would. Uh, I mean, it's, it's for like, uh, it's for YouTube reaction streams, so it doesn't over overwhelm it. Okay, what the fuck? They have guns? Oh. Right. So do I really have... Do I really have to, like, trek back, like, all the way to the store? Is there, like, another store I could go to, or is like, a faster way back? I don't know. I haven't been there. I haven't been back there in forever, so I'm just... I'm just kind of curious as to what the deal with that is. Uh... Alright, can I go down this way? I'm worried if I save, I won't be able to find my way back, or remember what I was doing, or whatever. Shit. Yeah, I am already lost. Like, how the fuck? Wait. There's a map. Yep. <gasps> Two Dwarku. Wait, what? Military Gate. Terran. The Clock Tower. Uh, where the fuck am I going? I have no idea. Like, no idea at all. Okay. Shit, more of them? There don't seem to be as much de as many demons back here. Like honestly, like it's the demons that uh, are giving me trouble right now. I think like I'm at the point now where my character is uh, so powerful that these uh, early bitch enemies, well, earlier bitch enemies, aren't really much of a, a match for me. Oops, here we go. All right, so I think it's over here, right? Oops. If I'm remembering correctly, but no. Like this looks like the right direction, but Clock Tower Plaza. Yeah, yeah, so I think it's over here. Uh, you turn the corner... Right? No, shit! Where the fuck is it? Uh... Oh, shit. Yeah, they're coming after me. So you have ninjas. You Okay, so you have, like, low-level soldiers. You have the ninjas, and then you have, like, the demons. And then I guess you have the greater demons, or the, the fiends, as they call them. Like in Final Fantasy X. <laughs> I swear it was somewhere around here. Is it not marked on the map? Is it really? Oh, is it the other way? Okay, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. Yeah, I'm just playing Ninja Gaiden Black. Oops. Which is a great game, by the way. Yeah, I gotta finish this game. Uh, definitely one of those games I gotta finish uh, before I die. I, I think I will uh, uh, master it before I die, I should say. I, I think I'll definitely beat it. Probably not on stream, but... Uh, okay. Uh, oh, come on. He can't upgrade it again. What a bitch. Like, upgrade my... Uh, Arm that of potency? Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Uh, hang on. How many should I... Can I afford? Can I buy arrows? Yeah, arrows aren't that expensive. Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh... An armlet agram with a picture of the moon. When equipped it, reuse defensive power it will increase. Oh, wait, what? Oh, come on! Ah, shit, I should have bought that. Damn, I was not... I was so concerned about the healing items. All right, uh... Yes, I'm reading comments. Yes. Yes, I, I always pay attention to the chat. I, I'm sure to pay, I, I make sure to pay attention to the fans. Right, where do I go? Uh... Oh, yes, I, I do uh, read my fan mail, too, so uh, let that be known. Um, it, it's weird that, like, I get fan mail, and I know, <laughs> but I, I just haven't had, like, I haven't had a situation in which I would be uh, motivated to answer one yet. Like, it just feels like, hey, man, you, uh, I like your stuff, and I'm just like, oh, cool, thank you. I went the wrong way, shit. Uh, Alright, so let's go back to the, uh... 
I should have just gotten the armlet. I don't know why I didn't get the armlet. What was I thinking? All right. Oh, well, I guess live and learn, I guess. Yeah, I think I would definitely get a uh, an armlet that increased my defense. Uh, that's definitely something. Like, my attack is fine, but I would prefer not to die. Uh, hang on. Armlets. My kick and throw techniques? All right. Oops, the fuck? Wait, is this the one where you, uh... There we go, yeah. This game has a really good platforming segment, and, uh... I love the exploration of it. Like, it feels like a real, uh... A really gorgeous community. Well, it feels like a real air... It feels like a real environment, you know what I mean? Where a bunch of ninjas are just fighting each other. Like, it's not like... The thing about Bayonetta, it's so exaggerated, it's almost like... Okay, how exactly does this work? Ah, oh, fuck. Well, at least I get to start over. Yeah, maybe I should just try to go through the uh, the monastery. Actually, I think I'm ready for a break, because I... Yeah, we're not quite there yet. We're about halfway through. Ugh. It's taking that long to download? Are you serious? I just want to play some Soul Calibur 6. I have not had, like, a... I've not played Soul Calibur at all since 2, so I'm very, very... Very eager to get back into it. Maybe I should play something else. Uh, I, I do have it saved. Uh, let's see. Sleeping doggies. Uh, I guess we can play Soul Calibur 1. Uh, as if. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, shit. Uh, Fable 2, Fable 3. Even with all these Game Pass games, there's not a whole lot here. Uh, Final Fantasy 15. I'm very curious as to how that's going to be. Nier Automata. Uh, Final Resident Evil 7. Definitely going to play that. Uh, maybe I should stream the entire thing. That might actually be fun. Uh, Tekken 7 queued. Uh, I don't know what else I would uh, play. Fallout New Vegas. Like a Ruga, Halo, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts, I think I will stream. I think I will try to go for, like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know, like an All Achievements run or something. Oof. Uh, what? Oh. Oh, can we stream some Battle Tids while we're waiting? Because the disc is not in the uh, the tray, so this might be the uh, Game Pass version. So it was already installed or downloaded or whatever. All right. So now I can just, with Game Pass, I can just boot this up whenever. Awesome. I don't need the disc. Hopefully it keeps my data. I think it should, but... Yeah, how about we uh, play some Battletoads? Like, I know I haven't been playing a... You know what? Maybe that's it. Maybe I could just get past level 8 by cheating. And then, uh... <laughs> and then we could uh, see the end of the game. I don't know. That's the main reason I stopped. I was I was so frustrated with level eight. Uh, I wonder how different um, it's gonna feel going back to this version. Uh, Battle Toads. All right. What do my achievements need to be? Complete every level in the game over time. Wow. Uh, so I did ev literally everything else other than. Damn, it feels weird playing the Xbox One version. Ugh. It feels a lot brighter. Ugh. It's kind of hurting my eyes, honestly, looking at it. All right. So, yeah, the original Battletoads is available on Xbox One. So, uh, if you want to see what the original was like after the uh, the terrible, terrible new one, uh, be sure to check this out. Okay. The new one does look awful, but it's also in Game Pass, so uh, I am going to be playing it. Oops. See. Can't believe I'm doing this again. Like even just seeing the screen is making me like angry. Like I'm just ugh. I think I am burned out of Battletoads at the moment. Oops. Yeah, the Xbox One version. Ugh. Yeah, you can re how do you reverse time again? Yeah, it's L2. Yeah, I remember ZL. So yeah, this version we can re we re we can rewind time, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it to get past level eight. Because level eight is like a piece of shit. Oops. Thank 
Yeah, I've done this so many times. I got used to it. I got good. Oops. I wonder if level 8, like, they fixed it on this version of the game. I don't know. If it's, like, less obnoxious. I doubt it. Because, like, this feels, like, almost identical. I think I would be dying if uh, it wasn't identical. Oops. Like, it looks about brighter, but I think it's just because it's an HD console. Here we go. Fuck. Actually, like, uh, the Super Nintendo Mini was... <sighs> it technically has an HD plug, so does that make it an, H an HD console? Is it outputting things at HD? Does it technically look better than the original release? I don't know. Uh... Is it really that late? Wow. Uh... Got him. Is this the one with uh, the ex exclamation mark? Oh, no. That's the next one, isn't it? Oops, here we go. Yeah, I wonder if I'm going to like Nier Automata. Um, I think that will be one of the, the first ones I play. I mean, I want to play Monster Hunter World, too, obviously. Yeah, here I, I... I made this live stream planning to play Xbox Game Pass, and not a single game... Well, I, I guess this is technically a Game Pass game, but... I've not had the opportunity to play a single Game Pass game yet because they're still downloading. Yep, easy. Dead on arrival, Pond Patrol. All right. Oops, shit. That one always gets me for some reason. And then it's like the other one, like this one. This is the piece of shit. Alright. I'm getting really sick of Battletoads. Oh, I love how I have the rewind function, but I still haven't been using it. Oops. I probably should be abusing that a lot in this game, because it's, it's so cheap. Oops. Yeah, I definitely should go ahead and... Uh, oops. Fuck. I really need to, uh, to go ahead and stream a lot of these older... Uh, Rare replay games. Uh, yeah, Banjo Kazooie. Should I go ahead and play that now? Like, now that we're waiting? I, I kind of feel like that, honestly. Like, more than this. I guess we could just. Uh, one of the nice things about this version, we could uh, save and. 2014? What the fuck? This game was not out in 2014. Why does it say 2014? All right. Did I really buy this in 2014? That would be ridiculous if true. I don't think so, but. Alright, uh... Okay, back to Rare Replay. Oops. Yeah, I guess we could play some Banjo-Kazooie while we're waiting. It's technically a Game Pass game. Alright, so, uh... Game Pass. Uh... Battletoads Arcade, yeah, I definitely gotta play that after, uh... After I finish, um... After I finish the original, I'm definitely playing the arcade version. I've actually been playing a lot of, uh... I was actually... I actually spent a lot of time playing a little bit of uh, Capcom beat-em-ups. Like Final Fight, stuff like that. They're kind of repetitive, but I hope the Battletoads one is better. So, yeah, this is a game I've actually... <laughs> Almost 100%ed on Xbox. Um, I have all the almost all the achievements. I think the only one I need to do is like the fucking puzzle piece one, which is like one of those things that just ugh, I don't I don't care to do that. So once I do do that though, which I think I will do uh, eventually, uh, like I think you can look at it like right here on the menu. Yep. Jigsaw Maker. It's the only one I haven't done. All right, so uh, play game. All right. He's playing a Game Boy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> thinking back to better times, Banjo. All right. 
yeah, we might as well go ahead and uh, play through this game. This is actually my uh, favorite version of the game now because they actually made some minor improvements. Uh, namely, you don't have to collect all the musical notes every time you re-enter a stage, which was bullshit in the N64 one. Uh, yeah, the N64 one does have a lot of mi major problems like that, but uh, it's still a great game, and... Uh, This is definitely one of those games I would like to start playing once a year. Um, but there is this girl. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no one prettier than me. Oh, no. Is the cauldron just a pedophile? Uh Nicer beauty can't be had. Uh. It sucks that Cutie never really, uh, Tootie never really reappeared again in the series. Uh, she's not in Tooie for some reason, and uh, not in Nuts and Bolts. Well, to be fair, um, Nuts and Bolts isn't part of Banjo. Like, I don't care what the curators of Rareware s at Rareware say. Like, Nuts and Bolts is not a Banjo Kazooie game. Like, just stop it. No. Complete bullshit. Nuts and Bolts should have been a new IP. Just, okay. It's like they were trying to do the Nintendo thing, but they had no idea what they were doing. We're going on an adventure. <laughs> Banjo. You lazy fuck. And Kazooie just stays in there all the time? Like, what's the deal? I love how, like, they never actually explain, like, Kazooie's background. Because, like, it, it doesn't explain why she's in the background, or in the backpack, or why she hangs out with Banjo. She just is. And that's kind of what makes it charming, but... How do they not know who Gruntilda is? Ugh. I love the, the classic rareware look. I would love to make something like this, but unfortunately I don't have the, uh, the game development talent. The only reason she even gets kidnapped is because Banjo is a lazy fuck who can't get out of bed. <laughs> ah, Kazooie, you dipshit. Alright. Alright, uh... Are oh, you fat mole? Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy, Kazooie. Let's see. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch, Gruntilda, swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Yeah, I, I've played the game before. I'm good, Bottles. Fuck off. I think there's like a... I think there's some rings around here, so we might as well collect them all. Uh, does it show up in the... There's six of them? Yeah, you can get a, a full thing. The Spiral Mountain's kind of a, be a boring beginner area, but... I mean, I love Gruntilda's Lair. It's one of my favorite areas ever, but uh, this is...
isn't Soul Calibur 6 going to finish downloading? Ugh. I love how this was an Xbox Game Pass stream, but... Ah, uh, well, whatever. Okay, uh... Here we go, yep, down here. Alright, that's three. Okay, they're not that hard to find, so... Hopefully the, the next three will come quickly. I want to go straight there, but unfortunately I... Here we go. A classic... Classic Banjo-Kazooie. Classic Rareware. Random object with eyes. I love that. Like, it was, it was like, parodied by Conker's Bad Fur Day, but... I think this is the, the first game that really established that concept. It's like, it's basically a stereotype for them at this point, but... Here we go. Here we go. Did I miss something? Wait. So Calibur 6 is available, I think. Uh, ready to go. Yep, ready to start. Uh, yep, awesome. Uh, we should get started on that. It's on top of the mountain? I guess I could just come back later. Road to the castle. Sacrifices must be made. Alright. Uh... Should I really go up there? Oh, here we go. I was like, wait, where's the last one? Alright, here we go. Oops. I was like, wait, it's up this tree. Alright. I don't think you ever need to climb trees in this game, so... Kind of a pointless ability, but okay. I mean, it's useful by Donkey Kong 64, which uh, is not in this collection. I'd be able to stream that by just buying it on Wii U. Honestly, like, at this point, like, I legit think, um... Have Xbox Game Pass, have a have a Nintendo Switch on online, and you're set. Like, you don't need a gaming PC, you don't need anything else, like, just get those two things. Like, if you have an Xbox Game Pass, that, that mitigates the whole third-party thing, right? When it comes to, like, Nintendo Nintendo not having them, so... It's like, what's what's the point of owning PlayStation, really? Alright, so, um... Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. They should, uh, it should be available. They want, like, everything on, um... On the next Xbox, I think, so... I think that's gonna be their thing, is that they're going to, uh, release everything... Uh, and have it available on Game Pass, so you can just, so anyone could try to uh, try s stuff like this. I'm personally hoping for uh, older Dead or Alive games, but I, I think I will go ahead and get a Series X. Like after after getting that Game Pass, I think I'm uh, I think I'm uh, a fan. So it... yeah, I love this game. Yeah, should I keep playing it or should I play Skull Tw Gather Six? I might as well just wait a while, right? I mean, I started it. I might as well like play through the first world. Yeah, you can tell I played this before. It's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Yeah, I've got to play Tui. Like, I've played this, like, uh, three times now. Yeah, three times. Like, this is a game I've played through, like, three times uh, all the way through. Well, I, I think on one playthrough I stopped at Gruntilda for some reason, but, uh... Like, this is a game I know very, very well, so... I started, like, playing Paper Mario again. There are so many, like, N64 games I would consider the best ever. You know, you know what? Like, um... Yes. <sighs> awesome. The door is open. That's what... One of the things I noticed, um, today, playing a lot of old N64 games, um... 
they are an evolution of Super Nintendo games. Like, the really, really good ones, like, they really do feel like something fresh, new, and exciting. Like, Ocarina, Mario Kart 64, uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Like, they all do a bunch of shit that the originals would not be able to do, right? Uh... Like, the N64 is just legit one of the best consoles ever made. Like, everyone always makes a big deal about, like, the PlayStation, but I, I think I think N64, like, kind of outclasses it when it comes to, like, the actual, actual innovative, um, like, truly next-gen, <laughs> at the time, uh, video games. Like, Super Mario 64 was phenomenal. It is phenomenal, I should say. There's a reason people will pay, like, $60 for it today. Oops, here we go. And these are the banjo Chewy ones that give you five. I, that give you five every time you grab one. It's just wait, what? Okay. Yeah, after, yeah. Chewy is like too complicated, I think, and uh, it's weird coming back to this and like this is this seems overtly simplistic, especially compared to like Super Mario 64, but it works really, really well. Uh, I love how, like, I booted this up just to wait low time until SoCal 6 downloaded, and yet I'm already hooked on it. Like, I can't stop playing it, man. It's so good. All right. I think this is, like, the last Super N N64 game I ever played that I truly fell in love with. Because I didn't play this until, like, 2009. Uh... Why do you want oranges? Wait, what do you do? Uh... There we go. Yeah, you just grab it. There we go. Take this, you bitch. Forages are nice. How did you help me? You just moved your fat ass. All right. Oh, the lion scumbag Sean Marie. Wait what? Wait, what? How do you get him out? Wait. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I thought it was B, but it's X. All right. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, that sweet is giving me eggs. All right, awesome. I was worried about that. Like, wait a minute. How many eggs do I actually have? All right. Uh, take this, you piece of shit. Oh, shit. Bear beat Conga. Me give prize to Bear. Yeah, yeah, like I said, the game is like really simplistic in some ways, but it really does work. This is still like a really good kids game, I think. Honestly, like 64 is probably I don't know more ambitious, but I think like 64 is like too Donkey Kong 64 is like too complex. Tui is definitely more complex. Uh, honestly, like, I would say this is the best of the, of the three. Uh, 64 is, uh, here, here's the bitch switch. I always call these the bitch. Oh, no, I don't have it yet. Shit. Fuck, I gotta get the thing. Uh. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's one down there. All right.
It's the molehill. It's such a small starter area, but like it really gets you like to understand like th what the game is trying to do. All right, here we go. Where's the where's the thing? Oh, here it is. You not learn the talent trot? This all right. I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. Get used to it, next girl. <laughs> I love how they shit on each other. They don't give a fuck. All right. It's such a charming game. It really... There's really nothing else like it. Like, it has lots of imitators. Um, Ukulele had, like, tried to be this, and it failed so epically. Like, honestly, like, Ukulele is one of the most frustrating indie games I think I've ever played. Like, of how, like, doing... How you can, like, do the same thing as an old game, but do it worse, and it's, uh... It was embarrassing how bad Banjo's, uh, ukulele was. And they tried hyping it up as, like, a real Banjo 3. Like, come on, like... I don't know, like, Bloodstained was a lot better, Shovel Knight was a lot better, like, Hollow Knight was a lot better. Uh, Blazing Chrome was a lot better. I, I cannot think of a single indie game... Maybe not. Maybe not, maybe number nine. Mighty number nine. I can't think of a single indie game that was like worse than Ukulele in that regard. Like people meme about not Mighty number nine, but I think like Ukulele legit might be worse. Like Ukulele was really really bad. Here we go. There we got it. <laughs> Great. Like, you can't play this game and not, like, smile. It's just so... It's just so engaging. Here we go. I think you need, like, five skulls, I believe, to transform. If I'm re remembering correctly. So maybe we should just come back later when we have, like, more skulls. Six already? What the fuck? Uh, okay. Uh... Da, da, da. I, I guess it's quicker when you know what you're doing, huh? I feel like when I did this the first time, it took me, like, I don't know, like, an hour, maybe? But yeah, I guess now that I know where everything is, it's, uh... It's kind of losing its, uh, difficulty, I suppose. I mean, the entire point is, like, not knowing where everything is, but, uh... I mean, it's still pleasurable to go through, I guess. I mean, how many times have I played through Super Mario 64? Like, uh, a lot more than this, I think. Which, and I still play that just fine, so... I mean, I'm already amused by what's going on here. I'm not, like, gonna drop the game, because, like, oh, no, I, I've done this before. Let's look at it. Is the Talent Trot up here? Like, I hate not having the Talent Trot. Like, it is the greatest thing ever, and I just... Alright. That's what it's called, right? The Talent Trot? Let's see here. Wait. Shit. Alright. He's up here, right? Oh, could he be on top of the thing? Hang on, let me check. Oh, here it is. I thought he was up here. I knew he was up here. All right. The talent trot will... Yep, 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 yep. How does she do it? I wish I could s skip these, because it's just... I, I think you can, actually. Okay. I think I managed to figure it out. Okay. I don't really need dialogue from these guys. <laughs> I've played the game before, I know how to play it. We're missing one? Uh, where could it be? So I think we have the Jinjo and we have the thing in the anthill. So I think... Damn, we got through this quick. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, we're missing one. Best shaman in all game. Can't help. Banjo and Filthy Feathered Friend. Okay, yeah, okay. I'll I'll get your I'll get your thing. I think there's one up here, so let's see if uh they wouldn't have like not given you enough skulls in level one, right? So Damn, really? Uh did I miss one? Could there be one in the anthill? 
Uh, that is embarrassing. Uh, a remake of Banjo Kazooie? <laughs> uh, yeah, why not? Oh shit! Are you serious? What the fuck? How are you supposed to get that? Uh, okay, that's one of those. Um, I think you have to. You have to climb on top of the totem pole before you destroy it, so I guess you're gonna have to leave. I guess we're gonna have to leave before we come back. Those things are so hard to find your first playthrough. Like, I legit, like, collected everything else in the game and, and completely forgot they didn't they existed for, like, the longest time. Like, I, I didn't find any of the ones here. I think I may, maybe, like, accidentally stumbled across, like, the one hidden in the, the little diving place here, but, like, generally speaking, ugh, it's so hard to find. So, yeah, uh, a remake. Um... Yeah, would not mind. Um, would not mind one. Uh, I would want them to, like, completely overhaul everything, though. Like, you know, have the same general story, but, like, maybe just do the levels. Make them, like, more modernized, I suppose. Like, does it really need to be remade, though? I, I think it's fine the way it is. Honestly, I, like, I think what we really need is a sequel, to be completely honest with you. Uh, a remake feels kind of pointless. Like... The game has aged really, really well. Um, people still play it on like rare replay. This has to be one of the most uh, most popular rare replay games. I can't imagine it not being, uh, especially like after Banjo and Smash. Yeah, it's definitely big. Shit. Uh, so I have nine coins, but because I don't have the shit, I don't have the skulls. I think I'm gonna have to leave and then come back. For like 100% the level. Ah, Alright, so I guess we'll just do it next time. Alright, so let's go to Chocho Choco. Yeah, I was, uh, I've been playing a lot of Rareware recently. Uh, I played Diddy Kong Racing earlier today. That's aged really, really well. Uh, that's the first time I've seriously played it in a very, very long time. Uh, and Diddy Kong Racing is, well, not, not a long time, but a, but a while. Like the past year or so. And I, the last time I played it, I was kind of like frustrated with it. And, and I can still kind of see why, because, like, the silver coins are kind of bullshit. But, like, all in all, like, it's still a pretty solid game. A uh, really solid game. Love it, love it a lot. Um, it's hard as fuck, though. Uh, compared to Mario Kart 64, like, shit. Like, if you've mastered Mario Kart 64, like, Diddy Kong Racing is the, uh, the obvious next stuff, but... I don't know, man. Like, back in the 90s, it felt like Nintendo was actually putting out, like, a wide range of games across these genres. Like, you actually had options. Like, you had Diddy Kong Racing, you had F-Zero X, you had, like, Wave Race, you had, like, uh, fucking Pilot Wings, which was amazing. Oops. I don't know. Like, a lot of that, a lot of that kind of stuff, it feels like it doesn't get made anymore. Uh, Wave Race in particular, but uh, F-Zero is becoming notorious as well, but... Here we go. Alright, Treasure Trove Co. Yeah, I would, uh... Since Xbox and Nintendo is are, uh, pretty, pretty tight, like, they really should just re-release, like, all these Rareware games on Nintendo Switch as well. Like, go ahead, release, uh, Donkey Kong 64. Like, do a collection. Like, Rare Nintendo Collection. Like, all the Rare games that couldn't be on, a, uh, All the Nintendo Rare games that couldn't be ra on, uh, on Rare Replay. Like, we need, we need, uh... We could have, like, DK64, the Donkey Kong Country games. Well, to be fair, the Donkey Kong Country games are already out. Uh, the good ones, anyway. Uh, oh! Wait, no. You hit him with the thing, but... He snips a lot. Okay, he lets himself wide open. Okay. That's how you do it. Alright. This game isn't really... It's weird to say, but this game has, like, an amazing pop -up. Uh, Rare sold their other half to Microsoft, and, um... Like, Nintendo just, uh, sold their stake as well to Microsoft. It was Rare, it was Rare's fault, it wasn't Nintendo, uh... It wasn't Nintendo... Like, Rare basically put themselves, uh, wanted to sell out, and, uh, Nintendo wasn't buying, so they just sold them. Created a situation where they were in a, a bidding war with... Activision and Microsoft. Like, my opinion is that they shouldn't have sold out. They should have just kept what they were doing. Like, what was the point of selling... Like, here's the thing. I, why sell out? Like, I I fully intend to never sell out in my life. Uh, 
Here we go. Bottles, I already found you. Tell me how to use it. since I played my DS, my actual DS. Uh, I usually just stick with my 3DS these days. And even that's, like, not being played all that much anymore. Cause I've basically 100%ed everything I want to play. Like, I mean, there's 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 the handful of games I'd, I'd like to try, like Shin Megami Tensei, but for the most part, like, I'm basically done with the, uh, the 3DS. Like, I, I'm gonna be picking up a copy of, like, Dragon Quest V for DS and then playing on 3DS here soon, but, like, uh, it's weird to think that, like, a lot of these Nintendo consoles I have, I basically just experienced them all. And I didn't get nearly amount, the same amount of mileage as I did, like, the Super Nintendo or N64. I mean, I'm still playing this. It's been, like, a decade since I, I played this for the first time, and I still really, really enjoy it. Is there anything in these... Or I know there's one where they're... Yeah, here we go. This is such a... This is such a trap. Like, I would not get one... If I saw, like, a treasure chest with teeth in it, like, I would not climb in. That seems like... That seems like a major red flag to me. All right. Like, I don't know. Like, something about this game, it seems so, like, primitive in a weird way. Like, like it's 98, but it feels like... It feels so much more simplistic than what Mario 64 was doing, like, the year before, you know what I mean? Oh, I did not have that thing open. Yeah. Oh, dude, this, the shark. Oh, no, the shark is, like, the most terrifying thing ever. Great example of, like, why this game is so memorable. Like this, when I saw the shark for the first time, I freaked out. I, I could not believe they did that. Oops, here we go. Oops, here we go. Climb up. I actually don't remember this part. Is this where the, uh... Fuck. No, no, fuck. Oh, fuck, he's coming. Fuck, fuck. Aw, oh, damn, that is so horrifying. He's so quick, too. Alright. Snacker the shark. Like, what a... What an asshole. Right. What a character. Oh, fuck, I missed the jump. Yeah, you're not getting shit, Snacker. He can't get you out of the water, though. Alright. Is it really that late? Shit, alright. Uh, here we go, knew it. Yeah, the N64 is one of my uh, favorites. I, I, I just walk right by this asshole. And he refills your energy too, like a boss. Alright, here you go. And learning how this game works for the first time was an absolute treat. Like, Going through these areas was just wonderful. It was a girl who recommended me this game, actually, and it was the uh, best, deci best decision to pick it up I've ever made. One of the best game wrecks ever, actually, I would say. Like, usually, like, I hate games that are recommended to me, but this was, like, phenomenal. Uh, that chick needed to be... Uh... <laughs> that girl needed to stick around. <laughs> oh, here we go. Shit. da 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 there we go, got it. That golden... I don't remember anything about her, though. Other than, like, Banjo-Kazooie. Other than recommending me this fucking game, which was, uh, great. Yeah, that's what I remember this girl for. Oh, she, uh, she told me to get this great video game. I don't know. I don't remember a lot of people, honestly. Like, honestly, like, as an adult, it's like, I don't remember really anyone I grew up with. Oops. How much longer do I have to go? Here we go. Uh, here we go. 
so okay, so I, I still have the blue one. Where's the blue one? It has to be has to be in the first part of the level. Oh, it's is that the one of the dock? I think it is. When we have to go like diving into like the the water or some shit. All right. I do not have the. Uh... Oh, you can do that. All right. Oh, I forgot to pound the bitch switch too. Uh, I should probably go ahead and do that. When I go back to level one, I should do that. All right, here we go. Would you die if you jump down from here? I think you would. Oops! Up! Oh, fuck. Yeah, I always call them the bitch switches. I just why would I call it a witch switch? All right. You know, you just slide down, like, uh, it's supposed to, be, that move is supposed to prevent you from doing that. All right. Uh, uh, let me see here. Let's go get the Jinjo, first of all. I think it's over, yep, knew it. This is the one you have to get in the water for with this fucking shark. Like, uh, terrifying, ah, oh, fuck. All right. Come on, come on! Get it! No, get it, you piece of shit! Damn, this is... This is murder. Alright. The shark is just... Alright. The shark is something else, man. Uh, Can I do that? Can I just, like... No, he follows you. He just doesn't. He just doesn't appear until you get in the water. Right, here we go. Got it. Oh, you fuckers! All right. Now we gotta do that again. Okay. So note to self: don't leave this one. You been a awarded a gamer pick? That was not a thing in the original. Like they added so much weird bullshit in this version of the game. Like stop and swap is uh, apparently a thing in this version. Which is one of the reasons I say this is probably the best version of the game. Uh, they actually added all the shit that was supposed to be in at the beginning. Uh. Oh, wait, what the fuck? That's... That's raised up? I actually... I don't think I've ever actually been over here. So, is that how it works? It's opened on uh, new files? Oops. Yeah, I've, I've never actually been over here. Uh, I, I know it exists, obviously, but... Stop and swap was one of those weird things that just, wow, really. I mean, what a weird idea. Let's, uh... Wow. Ooh, an egg. That's one of the seven stop and swap items we've been looking for. <laughs> I reckon it'll unlock something special in my nuts and bolts adventure. Come on! That's what it's for for nuts and... Fuck that. No, I don't... Fuck that. That's what they... Imagine being an, a Banjo-Kazooie fan and spending years and years, like, speculating about, like, the nature of stop and swap, trying to replicate it, trying to get it to work, and it turns out you have to buy an Xbox One version of the game and uh, you can port items into, like, nuts and bolts. Like, no, that's bullshit. Like, that is complete bullshit. I love how, like, this is supposed to be a Game Pass stream, but I just, I just ended up playing this. Okay. Uh, uh, Soul Calibur 6 is available, so I think I'm just going to play that for a while. Um, see how are doing. It, it's been a while since I've seen my uh, my waifus. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Tim, I used to, like, waifu the fuck out of, like, the girls in Soul Calibur 2. Like, they were my... Uh...
So let's see if Soul Calibur 6 is any good. Uh, if it is, fine. If not, whatever. With a lot of these shorter games, like stuff like Resident Evil 7, why would you ever need to like buy them? Like, just wait for they sh till they show up on Game Pass. Like, it's just, eh. I don't know, that's kind of my feeling on it. But... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely play some like Nier Automata tomorrow, Yakuza tomorrow. Uh... Yeah, my shit, my uh, Soul Calibur. All right, Six. awesome. Save data has been created. All right. So this is the first time I've ever played Soul Calibur 6. This is the first destroy them, I think, which completely destroyed their business model. Like, they won't be able to uh, to pay to do that anymore. Oops. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Soul Edge. A legendary sword and devourer of souls. <laughs> the original Buried opening was so much better than this. reaches of history, it was brought back to light in the 16th century. All right. The notorious pirate Cervantes claimed the sword as his own, setting everything into motion. Soul Edge adapted itself to its new owner by splitting into two. Possessed by the evil weapons, Cervantes began a bloody reign of terror slaying all those seeking the swords without prejudice. Soul Calibur does probably have some of the better lore. Undone. Under the protection of Hephaestus, the god of smithing, a female warrior named Sophitia was able to destroy one of the swords and lodged into her body. Oh yeah, that's right. I did name a character in uh, my novel Eye of the Dragon after her. Cervantes raised his sword to deliver the final blow. Sophie Langley. Suddenly, there appeared a ninja known as Taki. Who rescued the wounded warrior? It's weird to me that like uh, that Sophia is like away. <laughs> is one of the most uh, is one of the protagonists because like I never played as her in fucking two like ever. She was not like I prefer Cassie like Cassandra. The blade fell into the hands of Siegfried. Damn, we have like two different. Okay, <laughs> so so Soul Calibur and fucking Mortal Kombat like both have characters named Cassie now. Like shit. All right. I'll always be pissed that they didn't. They never incorporated like the Legend of Zelda into the lore. Like I think that's the main reason I uh, fell off of it. Like they didn't continue with like the, the Zelda shit. Like what were they thinking? Like I was so pissed that like Zelda didn't have more to do with like the plot of Soul Calibur 2. Like like Link should have been the main character. Like he would have like stopped all this shit. The product of rampant evil. Yeah, when are we gonna get Soul Calibur HD on Switch no with Link? Like, I, I am not rebuying that game until it comes out with online play with Link. Like, Our story takes place in the 16th century. Like, Soul Calibur 2 is one of my favorite fighting games of all time, and yet it's never come back to Nintendo consoles. Like, what are they? What are they doing? Like, what a what a failure! All right. Welcome to Soul Calibur 6. This is the main menu. Okay, yeah, alright. The following changes were made to battles. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't care. Uh, story mode? I think you might as well play, like, uh, mode. Create an original character and set forth on an adventure around the world where you'll experience the legend of the Cursed Sword. Is there no arcade mode? Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay, yeah. I always start with arcade mode in fighting games. Uh, should I start an easy... I might as well, because I've never played this before. Okay. Aw, oh, damn, I hate this. Uh, fucking. This is the worst character select screen I've ever seen in my life. Mitsuruki, Songmina. She didn't always have that dash in her name. Ataki, Maxi, Ivy, Siegfried, Sofia, Valdo, Kilik, Zhanghua, uh, Talum. 
Raphael. Uh, I made Raphael. I rained Raphael back in the day. Uh, but lately I've been uh, drawn to shang <laughs> Okay, I think I will play Raphael. Damn, like, that was the worst character select screen I've ever seen in my life. Like, in the original, you had the cool music, you saw the characters, like, fully rendered, you could pick their costumes, like, you could hear voice lines from them, like, okay, I'm already disappointed, alright. I mean, the artwork looks fine, but, okay, let's see how this works. I, what the fuck is that, like, what did they do to Raphael? Like, he, like, Maxi looks the same, but Raphael... What the fuck is that gl monocle glasses thing? Ah. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Uh, he looks like a gay version of Leon. All right. The winds found the flames of the warriors fighting spirits. Quickly now, Amy awaits me. Boring, just like the rest of them. Ah. Uh. Battle one. Fight. So either they haven't changed anything at all, or like they completely ruined it. I, I don't think there's any real in between. All right. Uh, here we go. Oops, here we go. Fuck. Okay. I have not played Soul Calibur 2 in forever, so let's see. How do you grab? Here we go. It's really similar. Yep, it doesn't have the same impact as the uh, the original. Uh, I mean, two. Victory. Let's see here. Yeah. yeah, I missed my boy Link. Like, Link? Okay, I need Link in the game so I have someone to play with when I first start. Alright. So how does this work? Alright, I'm smashing buttons at this point. Like, I'm trying to learn my combos. Perfect. I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to say it's terrible, but it doesn't, like, it's not really striking me as good either. You know what I mean? Uh, like, what what sticks out about this? Like, what has improved since Soul Calibur 2? Like, why would I not just go back and play Soul Calibur 2 again? Like, th th that's kind of always been my thing. Like, ever since uh, 2 came out and I fell in love with it, like, I, I just play 2. Like, do I really need a sequel? And, uh, no, I I'll be honest, like... That's kind of my impression here, is that, like, what have they changed as the games have gone on? And I, I don't see shit uh, so far. Like, I think, uh, I think 2 is snappier. I think the, the combos are better. I think, like, the characters look better. I think the voice, the voice acting is better. Actually, it sounds more, more distinct. I'm not sure I would say better. Oh, is this one of the stages from 2? No, they changed it. All right. I, th I thought this was like the temple from 2, but no. It's, it's a completely different temple. Well, one of the things I really liked about Soul Calibur was like the historical aspect. That's actually one of the, uh, the things I've noticed in the past uh, couple of years. I've gotten really into, Soul into historical fiction. I really wonder if it was like uh, Soul Calibur that kind of inspired that. Um, it, it's not something I've actively thought about, but I mean, there's, there's definitely a connection there. Here we go. Yeah, maybe I should play online and get my ass whooped. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking shit about this game, but uh, I don't know how to play it. It's about the graphics. Yeah, honestly, like, does it really look that much better than 2, though? Like, fucking really? Like, it's the same characters, they look the same, like... I mean, maybe, like, the... Maybe the backgrounds look better, but... Honestly, like, I like the way 2 looks. I still like the way 2 looks, like... Where's, where's Raphael from? I, I need to read, like, all the character bios, because I, I do not remember anything about these characters. It's been so long since I played it. Like, it's weird. Like, all the plot-relevant characters, like Ivy, like Cervantes, like, uh... Like, I didn't main at all. Like, uh, jean Gua didn't main her at all. Like, I, I like jean Gua a lot more as an adult, because uh, <laughs> my uh, taste changed, but, uh... I mean, back when I was 10, like, oh, yeah, Talam, she's she's best girl. Oh, Sangmina, oh, she's best girl. Like, uh, the more skin, the better. But uh, I don't know, like, as an adult, like, jean Kwa's voice kind of does it for me. Oops. Oops.
And plus, like, I like Chinese women a lot. A lot more. Well, I, I saw Mina's Chinese as well, okay. too, and shit. Let us begin today's no holding back on me. Wait, wait. Amy's a character? What the fuck? Why? Isn't she... Wait, isn't she, like, ten? I remember this bitch being, like, just a... Just, like, a character in a CGI cutscene. Like, she's playable now? Wait, what? Okay, when did this happen? All right. And wasn't she, like, 10? Isn't this supposed to be a reboot of the original? Did they age her up a little bit? I like her dress. It looks sick as fuck. But, but she just fights the same way I, I do. I just, oh, whatever. Okay, Soul Calibur will never be good until, uh... <laughs> Until it brings back Nintendo. Like, until it comes back to Nintendo and uh, re revitalizes the brand. Here we go. What's the next game that's uh, downloading? Hang on, let me check. Wait, am I getting whooped? No. She's just standing there for some reason. Hang on, let's pause it and then... Okay, what is, uh... Okay, so it's still downloading. Okay. Hang on, let's see here. What else is there? Yeah, queued. Yeah, what is next in the queue? What the fuck? 107! Wait, what the fuck? What, what is all downloading? Solar Hero 6. Okay, is it Resident Evil 7? I would not mind playing Resident Evil 7 on stream. Uh, yeah, Dishonored 2. Uh, what the fuck is... Oh! A bunch of Final Fantasy DLC? Like, are you fucking serious? Like, that's just... That's ridiculous. Like... Okay, whatever. Uh, whatever. Soul Calibur si uh, 6 is almost fully downloaded. So we'll, we'll see what uh, starts downloading after we're done here. I think I will play this for a while, though. Like, here's the thing. Like, when I say this is good, uh, this isn't good. I don't mean it's, like, unplayable or anything. Like, I mean it's something that I probably won't play more than, like, five hours. Like, I legit think, like, I could probably just go through the, the terrible story mode go through, like, the, 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 I don't know, the OC character mode, go through the arcade mode with all the characters I want to play as in, like, five hours. Like, th that's kind of how I felt about, like, Under Night and, like, Ars uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Like, well, not Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Like, Dragon Ball Fighter Z was, like, probably one of the best fighting games I've played in years because it kept me playing for, like, 30 hours. Like, well, pfft, probably a around that time period. Like, a lot more than I would typically play a fighting game. Um, just... There's just typically not a lot of reason to play a lot of fighting games these days. Because unless you're, like, a competitive player and are, and, and are playing online, like, what's the point? Like, it's just... I probably should listen to the character intros. I don't know why I'm skipping them. I've just been, like, so adamantly, like, just wanting to play games lately. It's just... I don't know. I'm so against, like, stories and games. Like, I, I've become, like, antagonistic to them. Like, every time I see a story, I'm just like, no, skip it. Oh. I don't know, does anybody, like, still talk about this game? Like, does anybody play it? Does anybody care about it at all? Like, I don't think so. Okay, I'm trying to do, like, that dodge he used to be able to do in the original 2, but... He has, like, the same kind of grips. He has the same kind of moves, like... Yeah, you are not, uh, Guts the Berserker. That thing is, like, about the size of Dragon Slayers. And, uh, it's probably a little bit smaller. Considerably smaller, but... Uh, it's the same move. Like, it's just... There's something about 2. Like, it feels like it, it gave more of an impact in 2. Like, there's something about it. I don't think it's just nostalgia, because I, I played the shit out of 2, dude. Like, I did everything you could possibly do in 2. Um... And I, and, I, and I kept playing it a good long while after that. Yeah, Soul Calibur 2 is definitely one of my favorite fighting games of all time. One of my favorites. Uh, top 5 for sure. Like, maybe Dragon Ball Fighter Z is higher. Maybe maybe Super Smash Bros. is higher. I think, I'd think i say I like Soul Calibur 2 more than ARMS. Like, only just, though. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe since I'm older now, I won't like Soul Calibur 2 as much. I actually have not played it in, like, probably over a decade, so... You know, maybe I should go ahead and, uh... I shall grant you death. Maybe I should go ahead and replay it. It's been a long time. Okay, 
the grab seems kind of slow. I remember playing like Soul Calibur 2 in the arcade and just having a blast. Like, it was just so good. Do they still release fighting games in arcades? Like, in America? Like, is this like, is there an arcade version of this somewhere? I know Tekken 7 has one, but I'm not sure about this. Yeah, we probably should play online and see how badly I get raped. I'm kind of curious as to like how badly, how bad it's gonna look. Here we go. I mean, I'd like to play as like some more of the characters though. If this seems ridiculous. Uh, keep in mind, I do did this in the original too. I noticed they like changed the animation so like it it lags a little bit so it's a bit more easy to avoid. But you will do well. It's a really quick attack in the. Uh, it's a really quick attack in two. I keep saying the original, but I mean two. Like shit. I barely played the original. I own it now on Xbox One, but uh, yeah, I I barely played the original. Sophia. Was it? I I swear it was Sophita, not Sophitia. Like, am I crazy or did they change it? Like, am I crazy or am I just? I I don't remember that eye being there. I don't. Your spirits are forged. Welcome. I shall grant you death. I'm fine. I oh damn! This. I don't remember her being so chesty. Okay. So uh, I think I like Sophita too. Isn't she married though? Is she married yet? Because that's kind of like a plot element of two, isn't it? Like she's married by that point. Yeah, I guess I was too young for uh, for Sophia now, but now I'm just like, damn. Yeah, she's not bad. Is it gonna be like a Final Fantasy X Riku thing where uh, I find like Cassandra more annoying as an adult, but I like like Sophia more? I don't know. Because I didn't used to like her at all. But yeah, shit. Nah. Yeah, I would. Like shit. Yeah, maybe I should raise the difficulty for sure. I think easy is a bit too low. I mean, I'm still learning the game, so I'm just like, eh. Let's wait a while before raising the difficulty. Uh, who should I play as next, do you think? I think I will play, like, a couple of rounds of, uh, through Arcade with all the characters. I don't, I don't think it's the same voice actor. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting it would be. It'd be like, what, the same, they kept the same guy for 15 years? I don't think so. Has it really been 15 years since uh, 2 came out? No, it came out in 2003, so it's more like 17. Right, it was 2003, right? 2002, 2003. It's hard to believe it came out that early in the GameCube lifespan. Who the fuck is Hilde? Alright. Like, whenever I see a character that isn't in 2, I'm gonna freak. Alright, uh, you're not in two? What are you doing in my Soul Calibur game? Alright. The desire for power leads the warriors to the arid desert. Welcome! I shall grant you death! My people are behind me. I cannot lose! Okay, what the fuck is she- So she has a sword and a fucking spear with a flag on it? That's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Well, whatever. I don't know, man. Like, I, I like Soul Calibur for its, like, realism with, like, the weapons and, like, the the fighting style and stuff like that. Like, it was somewhat grounded in reality. Like, one of the reasons I, like, I think I got... Like, one of the things I, I noticed people, like, complaining about with, like, some of the later ones is that, like, the weapons got more and more ridiculous. Like, you had, you know, Jedi there. You had, like, fucking... How long does arcade mode go on, by the way? Like, it, it feels like I've been playing forever. I was expecting to breeze through it, but... Hey, should I try the story mode? Do you think I should do that? And see how awful it is? I can't imagine it being good, because, like, these, these fighting game story modes are awful. 
Like, I legit could not play the Tekken 7 one when I... I bought it on PC. Which, by the way, I'm never going to have to do again because of the Xbox Game Pass. Ugh. Ah, Nightmare? Okay. So it's eight stages. You fight Nightmare. Probably Inferno. Exactly like Soul Calibur 2. Why the fuck is Soul Edge not dead yet? Why does it take six games to get this guy away from, like, a, an evil sword? Like, how hard can it be? Like, I've only beaten him in arcade mode, like, five dozen times. Like, at least with Mortal Kombat, like, it's a completely different story. But, no. Sometimes a different antagonist. Like, they do something a little bit different. Like, this is just the same thing over and over again. Alright. Yeah, whatever. I've played Link's Awakening. Uh, I'm not scared of nightmares. Oh, oh shit, he got me. Here we go. I don't know, it's a fighting game. Like, it, it doesn't... It's not really speaking to me, but... I don't know, it's serviceable, I guess. But I wouldn't have paid, like, $60 for it, either. That's kind of my that was kind of my feeling for Second Seven as well. Like, why is this a sixty dollars purchase? Like, it's not like because it has a competitive scene. Like, what do you have for like the I don't know like average players or not even like average players? Because like I'm I'm clearly like above average when it comes to like uh, video games. But I mean, obviously, I can't like play people who fight in tournaments, right? Who play in tournaments, but. Uh, I think Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is on here, too. I probably should download that real quick. Okay. Yeah, you win? Yeah, completion time, six minutes. You earn, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we got achievement. Uh, main menu. Keep your eyes on the gold. All right. Yes, I want to uh, exit the mode. Should I play Network or Story Mode, or what else should I do? Uh, yep, Resident Evil 7 is uh, downloading. Hopefully it won't be long until it's ready to play. Because I would love to play... Uh, I would love to play Resident Evil 7 on stream tonight. How long is it going to take before it's ready to play? Uh, I dearly want to do that. Where is it? Resident Evil 7? Uh, where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is Resident Evil 7? I... Near Automata. Let me see here. Fable Anniversary. Uh, and... Where the fuck is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, installing. Oh, fuck. I guess we'll just look at the queue. Uh, 21... It's going to take a while. Arcade versus training. Uh, I guess we're going to make our uh, original character. Our original character do not steal. I know who we're going to make. We're going to make Link. It better make us... It better let us make, make Link. Like, that's all I can say. That's all I can say. Entwined with the two swords. My original character. Consumed by the oh, evil wait, wait, what? Seed, yet still with presence of mind. That looks like an assassin. If it's an assassin, I swear, I will just delete this game right now. Like I don't want assassins in my fucking soul caliber. You will eventually succumb to the chaos unless you engrave a clear image of yourself. Yeah, we're skipping this. We're not skipping it. I want to. I just want to go through the. Uh, go through the dialogue. I didn't want to skip the entire thing. I wanted to know who the guy was. Okay. Uh, human male. Yes, of course. Okay. Human male, outcast, lost soul, lizard man, mummy, automaton, shapeshifter, colossus. From Shadow of the Colossus? 
Revenant, Darksider, Lost Soul, Hidden Village Clan. Okay, I think we could, uh... Alright, this seems, uh, linkish. Oh, is this what they did? So motherfuckers like me would just... Alright, uh, make our link. Okay, how do we make link? I don't normally fuck around with, uh, character creation tools, but... I mean, he's a lot smaller than this, right? So, uh... Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh... They're so manlet, though. Oops. I don't want to call Link a manlet, but shit, what? Damn, this is a terrible collect... Look at how long it takes to load for, like, simple changes. What is the deal? All right. This isn't Link, but... No, I needed to look younger than this. All right. Yeah, I need to get rid of this stupid haircut. Uh... No, they're all awful. Wait. All right. Tim, I hate all these options. All right. That's about as good as we're going to get, I think. Uh, young Knight. I won't hold back. I won't hold back. Okay, I, I need the screams. That's the best I can I do, I think. Uh, he shouldn't have a voice at all, but okay. Uh, yeah, okay. That was awful. Okay, Katana, Sabatu, I need a Sword and Shield. Uh... Chinese Sword, Rod, uh, Zweihander. Elbow Blade. So you basically just get weapons from... That other character used? Come the fuck on. Uh. Malcolm? Like, no, fuck you, it's Link. Link is in the Xbox version of the Soul Calibur 6 now, so fuck you. Uh, this is the best I can do, because this character creator is awful. I hate it. All right. Worst character creator I've ever seriously tried to work with. All right. Because I normally don't bother, but because uh, I need Link in the game to enjoy it. Like, what the fuck were they thinking? All right. If you can keep a hold of who you are, you will be a now a rod. Okay. Should I just play, like, Resident Evil 7 tomorrow? Like, it's going to take a while for me to download all this shit. I really should have spent tonight we're watching uh, Legend of the Galactic Heroes rather than, like, playing get Xbox Game Pass, but okay. Whatever. Ah. Okay. Um, so it's, is this the Weapon Master mode of this game? To be fair, in that game, you sort of played as an original character, too. But uh, honestly, I kind of like that. Because um, you, you can choose whoever you want to play as. And then, like, you just sort of LARP as a as a as your own unique character. I don't know, man. Like, Weapon Master Mode was, like, amazing. Like, I, I loved that shit. It was so fun and creative. All right. Wait. I don't care. I really don't. What? Wait. So it's it's like some kind of shitty RPG. All right.
Oh, no. Come with me if you want to live. So it's basically Weapon Master mode, huh? All right, let's see if this is any uh, anywhere near as good. I doubt it. I would rather just per just let me choose a character. Like, why do I have to do th this? Why do I need an OC? Do not steal. But okay. <sighs> why do I have to press X to go for? That's so so bizarre to me. I I don't care. I, I think I'm already just like okay. I don't I don't care about the the story. So yeah, we're sticking with arcade, I think. Like, I just want to play the characters. Like, that's it. Like, I don't I don't want to deal with this bullshit. Like we... Yeah, I'm ready to play Resident Evil 7. It's just not downloaded yet. Come on, it's gonna take forever. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to call it a night because it's taking too long too long. Alright. Like, look at that! Like, the way it's animated, like... You can, you can see, like... How awful is that? Like, look at how effeminate his moves are. Because, like, it's just Sophieta's move pool just... No, yeah, we're... Yeah, we're, we're done with this. Uh, not bothering with this mode. Uh, doesn't seem interesting, doesn't seem fun. Uh... So what, should we just play as arcade mode with all the characters? That's kind of been my default with all these modern, like, Japanese fighting games. Like, just play, just play, like... <laughs> just play arcade with all the characters, and then go online with the character you like. That's that's it. That's all all I really want to do. I'm not even going to bother with story mode. Maybe not today, but alright. Uh, should I play online? Who's, who's playing online? Uh, casual match. I probably should play a ranked match, but I don't know. Is anybody still playing? I wonder if this uh, room game has any audience at all. Uh, Cause it's been a while since it came out, right? I wonder if anyone's still playing it. You know, a handful of people. All right. These people are fighting. Uh, do I have to wait? Oh, that's boring. Like, come on, I just want to fight. Yeah, it's probably not my, not my best interest to play online. I think I'm going to have to just play arcade mode and raise the difficulty if I want to challenge. Uh, Alright, normal. Uh, normal should be fine. Alright, who should I play as? Uh, Talim. Wait a minute, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Geralt's in this? Like, what the... What? Why is this motherfucker in this game? Like, <sighs> Geralt is the most o overrated video game protagonist of the past decade, for sure. Like, fucking Geralt. The absolute worst. Like, I hate this motherfucker. I hate his books. I hate his, I hate his games. I hate his cameos and other things. Like, shit. Like, yeah, I am just morbidly curious on how this motherfucker plays. So, they went from Link, like, to fucking Darth Vader and Yoda to fucking Geralt. Like, damn, they have gone way downhill. Remember when their cameos used to be a big deal? Geralt's not cool, he's not badass, he's not hard. Like... Yeah, yeah, not not feeling Daryl. He sucks. He's not fun to play as. Alright. And the Witcher was killed by the first guy he fought in Soul Calibur. Okay. Let's pretend Geralt's not in the game. Uh, honestly, like, that in and of itself is more like, ah, uh, this is shit. This is 
This is complete bullshit. They've completely dropped the ball. Uh, Zhang Wang? I might as well play a Zhang Wang, huh? Let's uh, try Zhang Wang. Yeah, I'm already just like, yeah, this is this is pure shit. Oops. <laughs> I'm not impressed with this game at all. Like, I haven't been playing it for an hour and I'm already bored of it. Like shit. Oops. Zhang Wa versus Siegfried. Uh, let's see how she plays. I think I'll try her. Oh, Cassandra's not in this game, is she? Yeah, she looks the same as ever. I don't know, wait. Like, it, it's weird. The weird anime aesthetic. It doesn't look any different than it did 17 years ago. Oh, yeah. I guess the textures are better, but that's about it. <laughs> you think you can keep up? Oh, her old voice is better. Her old voice is better. Fuck you, Namco. Like, I mean, I know it's been like 17 years, but shit. All right. I know her dress is like gorgeous though. I don't know, like the uh the lights are great. Which um uh, the shoulder yeah yeah. I I swear at this point, like the only reason I'm still playing this is like to check out all the all the waifus. Which again, I uh I am a fan of. Waifu. Waifu caliber, I suppose. Uh oops. I like Zhang Wang. Alright. I mean, I like the way she looks. I don't like, like playing as her. Uh, I, I guess we should just, might as well just play through as a bunch of different characters and maybe, uh, I don't know, play Fallout New Vegas or something while we wait for Resident Evil 7 to download. Because I think I am done with this. This is, uh, this is not entertaining to me. This is not, this is not amusing me at all. Like, I put so much time into uh, Soul Calibur 2, like, it just, uh, Alright. What the fuck did I just do? Like, when... She, when, when has she been a waterbender? Yeah, I probably should just play as all the characters. Uh, probably don't. For the exercise. Yeah, she's not, she doesn't look bad. I, I guess like okay, the game isn't good, but at least they have their priorities straight. Okay, at least they can make the females look and act like females. Okay, like none of this westernized like <laughs> westernized like ugly bullshit. All right. Um, Yeah, it's gonna be a while before it's done. Uh, can I end the? <sighs> yeah, I would love to start Resident Evil Seven now, but it's really gonna be a while before it's done. Um, I would love to do it before I end the stream tonight, but I think I am just gonna have to go. Oof. Damn, that's very frustrating. Uh... Looks like I have to give. <laughs> Battle one. Wait, did I change her costume? But, but her last costume was better! Uh, alright, whatever. Like, it showed the shoulders and the legs. Uh, alright, whatever. Fuck. Like, now I'm just uh, lusting after video game characters. It's like I'm uh, 10 years old all over again. Alright, uh. I guess we could just do training. Uh, let's uh, look at everyone. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Are these are these other characters DLC? Who are the DLC characters? I mean, I'm not going to pay for them, but I'm going to as well look. Astathoth, Gro, who the fuck is Gro? Taki, Voldo, Aswell, Cervantes, Ivy. Ivy is shit. Uh, well, at least she was shit in the past. I was never a fan. 
Uh, Keelik, uh, Xiong, Talim, Shanghua. All right. Songmina. Yeah, Songmina. Uh, damn, that's that was always my uh, <laughs> that was always the reason I was a fan of of a Songmina. It was like the mid ref. I always like that. Uh, Talim, I liked uh, because she was like adorable as fuck. But uh, unfortunately, I think she's a bit too young for me now. Let me see. Are there character bios? You might as well look at them and get read up on everyone. Uh, portrait Library, Encyclopedia, uh, the 12... Wait, Literature? What the fuck is this? Okay, so you have to unlock all this shit? Uh, the Hero King? Wait. Marth had Soul Edge? Okay, whatever. Ugh. Whatever, this, this is bullshit. Uh... Oh, hey, we could look at Soul Calibur 2 art. Oh, come on! Fuck that! Alright, so... Oh, that's the replay value. You can uh, unlock the concept art for better games. Unbelievable. Uh... Season Pass, uh, Hill Day. Oh, she's DLC. Oh, the, uh, the Samurai Showdown guy. Setsuka. I guess we can look at all the content. Look at all this ridiculous... 30 bucks? Who pays for this shit? Yeah, 2B. Yeah, I'm not paying for that. That's bullshit. Uh, Amy, bullshit. Cassandra, bullshit. Yeah, you shouldn't have to pay for DLC. Don't pay for this shit. Uh, DLC 10 character creator. What? Bullshit. Wait. DLC 2... Yeah, Tira, Cassandra. So a bunch of guest characters. Uh, wow. Yeah, awful. So yeah, not not impressed with this game. Uh, like it, it's about what I expected. It's uh, just a basic bitch fighting game uh, with none of like the appeal of the original uh, uh, two. I, I keep saying the original. I mean two. Uh, yeah, I love two, but this is just not. This is just not it. This just ain't it, dog. Uh, all right. Alright, so what are we going to play until uh, we're done here? Uh... Oh, don't tell me. Arkham Knight, the worst thing ever. Are we seriously going to do this? We're seriously going to do this? Wow. So I don't even need to, like... I don't even need to download this game because I own it physically. So since it's on Game Pass... Okay, okay if Arkham Asylum ever comes out on Game Pass, I'm, I'm definitely playing it. Like, if it definitely comes... If a city comes out, I'll, I'll pro I might play that. The, the first bit of it, at least. Uh, just to demonstrate how bad city is. Because, like, I am always, always going to be salty about, like, uh, about city being, like, complete shit. Oops. I guess I could just go back and play Banjo-Kazooie. Until, like, Resident Evil 7 is ready to play. No, I probably should just wait a little bit and just do another Xbox stream tomorrow. Combat 7 I'm really looking forward to, for sure. Uh, that's one of the ones I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah, this is uh, one of the worst games I think I've ever played in my life. 2014? What is with these dates? Like... Why did it think it was 2014? Like, it's such a weird, uh... Oh, 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 yeah, that might be it. I might have played this when I didn't have internet. And that might have fucked up the clock, maybe. Yeah, because this is one of the earlier games I played here. Yeah, I remember playing this. Um... So this is uh, one of the... This is, like, legit one of the worst games I've ever played in my life. I am shocked I am uh, I ever picked this up again because it's it's legit, like, one of the most frustrating, like, things I've ever played. Like, this li this really should be, like, uh, one of the most hated, like, sequels of the generation. And nobody, nobody brings it up. Well, 
Like, it's it's so bad. It's so... It's like the most over-designed game I think I've ever played in my life. Like, look at this shit. It's so cluttered. It's so, like... Ugh. It really is like GTA with Batman. Like, I hate the way the Batmobile looks. I, like, I hate the way it handles. I hate how it's, like, important for everything. It's just... It's the worst. You gotta love how you can't kill anybody with this. What is with, like, the third Batman thing in a trilogy, like, uh... Like, completely losing sight of what makes, uh... The first two games good. Or the first one in, good in this case. Which is... Like, this is the thing I hate about this game. Like, it's not a Batman game. It's just, like, a military game with Batman, like, driving a tank. That's it. Like, there's nothing... Like, there's nothing interesting about that. There really isn't. Like, oof. Like, I, I think this kind of proves, uh, more than anything, that, like, Rocksteady were complete hacks. Because it's just... Wow... Is this a Batman game or a Batmobile game? Like, just... Wayne Tower parking? Wait, oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. That was dumb. Uh, I pressed the wrong button, and I think I lost him. Like, how do I boost? Where's the boost button? There we go. Uh, ah, shit. Like, the Batmobile isn't even fun to use, like, half the time. And you're supposed to use it, like, all the time in, like, chase sequences. Like, come on. Like, have it be automated. Don't make it be, like, this clunky... It's such, like, an ugly-looking game, too. Like, look at this shit. Like, I just... Incredibly over-designed. Just look at this. Like, it's trying so hard to look, like... It's so gaudy. It's just... Ugh. Where's my uh, detective vision? How do you trigger that again? Is that even in this game? Oh, here it is. Yeah, okay. I, I completely forgot how to play this. All right. Well, for good reason, it's uh, the worst thing ever. But I should clear the area first. Do they have guns? Yeah, they do. But look at this, like it's not Keep calm, all of you. We're the best equipped squad of the whole army. I don't think the baddest is threat. Like the original was like Arkham Asylum was so well designed with its like with its like stealth segments and stuff like that. In this one, all you have to do is just attack someone. Kill them and then just take them down. Oh, we got shit. Oops. Actually, yeah, that, that was embarrassing. I have That's it, Bat. Play dead. We've got them right where we. Oh dear. Joker, you're not in this game. Like, <laughs> that's another thing. Like, this game really should have, like, actually offended, like, actual Batman fans with, like, the portrayal of the Joker. 
Like Jason Todd being the Arkham Knight. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just spoil the worst plot twist in gaming history? Like, like people do not give this game enough shit. Like, this game is awful. This game is dog shit. Like, even just me, like, playing it again is just, uh, yeah, one of the worst games I've ever played in my life for sure. Uh, maybe I should just sit here and wait for the, uh, for Resident Evil 7 to finish. And then we can just play that until, uh, something else finishes. I don't know, man. Do we really need, uh, I guess we could look at more Game Pass stuff. Oh, here we go. Like, what else do I get out of Game Pass? I guess I could just play some, like, Halo or whatever. Wait, where is, uh... Wait, shit. How do you get to Game Pass? From here. Uh, home? Here we go. Uh, Game Pass. Halloween? Uh, no. Not at all. I'm not really into Halloween, honestly. I've never been interested, uh, personally. It depends on what happens. Like, I legit think I would just stay home. Especially because of, like, the pandemic. I am, uh... I am, uh, staying away from that shit. Okay. Uh, Warhammer... Let's see. They added Destiny 2. I love how, like, out of all the games I've, uh, downloaded on Game Pass, I didn't even bother downloading, like... I didn't even bother downloading Destiny 2. Fuck that. Uh, Classics. Uh, yeah, I've already got those. I own, like, Final Fantasy IX on Switch, so I'm not really bothering with that one. Did I get everything I wanted to download? Because I don't want to miss anything. Uh, let's see. Alan Wake. Oh, yeah, I probably, should, I probably should get that. I really liked what I uh, played of that on PC. A lot of this stuff I already own on uh, PC. Let's see. Arkham Knight. I would love to play the original Arkham Asylum. Uh, that one, I think, is worth playing occasionally. Oh, it's worth playing through once. Let's see. Let's see Destiny 2, uh, Dirt, Double Dragon Neon, Don't Starve, uh, Zoner 2, Dragon Quest 11, uh, Fable, Escape is 2, Fallout 76 hilariously is on here. Uh, let's see. Gears. I really gotta play Gears. Guacamele, Grounded. Taname. Wait, what's up with Taname? What, what happened? Like, saying that really makes me, really makes me wish I had uh, actually bothered to watch Legend of the Galactic Heroes tonight, like I was going to. Like, I was legit, like, sitting here thinking, like, should I stream or should I watch more anime? Like, I have been, I've been so, so, uh, I, I've been feeling lately, like, I'm, I have, like, so many things I want to do, I, I have no idea, like, what I, what I should do half the time. It's ridiculous. So so what's going on with, like, Taname? Like, why do you say that specifically? Like, what happened? Uh, that's kind of an interesting thing to say. Recore, Rare Replay, Raid, Quantum Break, uh, Shadow Warrior 2. Yeah, I think we have everything I wanted downloaded. It's just taking forever to actually do. The Talos Principle. Terraria. Uh... Torah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Wargroove. Wow, Wargroove is on here, and I was, I was playing that on Switch. Okay. Okay, I think we are just gonna wait until like this thing figure finishes downloading. Here we go. Uh, may maybe we can find something else to play until then. But uh, let's see. Fallout 4? No. Fuck Fallout 4. New Vegas? I don't know. I don't know New Vegas enough to make that interesting. Uh, Lost Odyssey, Mirror's Edge, uh, No Man's Sky. Should I just go back to uh, to playing Ninja Gaiden? Like, should I? Uh, I guess Rare Replay. I guess we could just play more of that while we wait. Oops. How is how is Xbox Game Pass the same as PS Now? Like PS Now is just garbage, like pure shit. Like nobody is subscribing to that shit. Like isn't it like isn't it like Stadia before Stadia was a thing where you just down like you just stream the games through the internet through your chappy ass connection? It's just yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna work. That's not practical. 
They really thought that was going to work, too. Um, PlayStation Now is, like, garbage. Okay, should we, what should I play? I already played some Banjo-Kazooie. Should I play more of that, or should I try something else? Killer Instinct Gold, Brass Core. I'm a big fan of Brass Core. Uh, Grab by the Ghoulies, Cameo. Uh, I think I am going to play Banjo-Kazooie some more, since I started playing it again. Uh... I guess that's what we're, what we're going to be doing every time we uh, get bored of a Game Pass game, just go back to Rare Replay. Yes, GoldenEye was from Rare. Yep. One of the best games they ever made was a uh, licensed game from, yep, James Bond licensed game. Yeah, I really want to play Resident Evil 7 before I go to bed. So I think I'm just going to play this until it goes live and then, like, go through that a little bit. Uh, again, I started Resident Evil 7 on PC, but I couldn't finish it. Um, I mean, I, I didn't want to finish it because I was getting sick of PC gaming. I really was. I was getting bored of it. I didn't like how much space it was taking up on my hard drive. It was just... Like... Yeah, I think Game Pass is going to be the end of sort of, like... Uh, the traditional PC gaming model. Because, like, everyone who has Game Pass... Like, it, it'll just be less expensive to own own games on Game Pass. I'm so unused to playing on uh, on Stage 2. I've never seen that before. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go see Mumbo. Yeah, I, I gotta get back into watching anime. Like, I keep... I don't know. Like, I'm so tired a lot of the time. I don't bother watching anime. Like a lot of a lot of a lot of times, I'm watching a show and I'm just like, I gotta, I gotta write my own shit. I gotta do my own thing, and uh, which is great a lot of the time. But sometimes it's like, okay, sometimes I need to. Sometimes I need to like actually sit and enjoy something. Alright, that's all of that. Oh, did I get the first one? Wait, hang on. Oh, I need to hit the witch switch, too. Uh, don't let me forget that. Actually, I should probably do that first, but... Favorite, uh, popular, the fit, uh, the, the mainstream one. I would say, uh, <laughs> how mainstream do you mean? Uh, I would say, like, Yu Yu Hakusho. I mean, does that count? I, I think it does. Uh, that's fairly well known, right? Like, I also really like One Piece and Dragon Ball Z. Like, those are super mainstream. Uh, like, honestly, like, I don't, I think most of the things I like are somewhat mainstream. I haven't really, uh, delved into some of the more obscure shit yet. I'd like to, but it's like, it's mostly just, uh, you know, just me being busy. Like, I, I've tried watching Trigun. Love it. Uh, watching Legend of the Galactic Heroes right now. The original. Uh, love it. Oops. Yeah, I need to go back. Hey, why did I... Why did I try going down to the Witch Switch? Alright. Uh, what else do I like? Um, I'll have to look at my uh, Funimation thing. Uh, yeah, Dr. Stone is great. My Hero Academia is pretty good. I like My Hero Academia already a lot more than uh, fucking Naruto ever was. Like, people, like, always compare the two, but, like, My Hero Academia is so much better. Like, it's so much better animated. It's so much, uh... Let's see, One Punch Man. Uh, I like I liked the first season of Mob Psycho, but I never bothered watching, like, the second one. The one that said, like, that, that people said was, like, amazing. So I, I really need to get on that. That's been on the list for a while. Uh, Attack on Titan, uh, I really like. I really like Attack on Titan in spite of all its problems, actually. Um, that is something I really need to, to talk about, like, at length, because Attack on Titan is, like, one of the most deeply flawed, like, things that I've ever been, like, completely enamored with, I think I've ever experienced. Like, I... Attack on Titan is a really good example of, like, a thing that's, like, amazing in spite of itself, if, if that makes any sense. Um, uh, what else do I like? I need to watch more shit, because, like, a lot of it's, like, so long. Like, I I'm, like, 
I got like a hundred episodes into One Piece when I tried re-watching it again, and like I never got past that point, so it's like, ugh, fuck. I'm like, I'm like way, way behind. And then like I'm, I'm trying to read the manga, I'm trying to do all this other stuff, I'm trying to like uh, read other manga. Actually, I think I'm reading a lot more manga than I am uh, watching anime right now, actually. Because I'm reading Berserk and Helsing and stuff like that. I, I'm so reluctant to, to, like, watch Helsing before I, like, finish reading the manga. Because I started reading the manga and love it. And now I don't want to watch the anime and get spoiled. Like, it's... Just, uh... Which is kind of a weird thing, I think. I don't think that's a, a thing anybody else goes through. But that's, uh... That's kind of how I feel about that right now. Yeah, what, what is my, uh... What are my other shows? Uh... And a lot of the stuff I've tried to watch has been, like, awful. Because, like, like, I, I've realized um, over the past couple of uh, weeks, like, once I started, like, getting, uh, subscribing to these anime services, uh, Funimation Now, um, High Dive, I guess, uh, I really, 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 really do not like uh, fan service -y shit. Like, I, I don't like it. Like, I think it's, like, pandering as fuck. I think it's for thirsty nerds. I, I don't, I don't like fan service -y shit. Like... Like, it's not, it's not charming, it's not cute, it's like, it's pandering, I hate, I hate that. Um, which, which is weird, because, like, Dr. Stone is, like, fan service as fuck, and I, I don't know, like, Dr., okay, what is with this? Like, Dr. Stone is, like, is, like, a story about a guy trying to rebuild civilization, and yet it has, like, the hottest chicks I think I've ever fucking seen in my life. Like, oof. I don't know, like, I think that, that, I think that show just, uh, scratches a really particular itch. Oops. They're like the prehistoric, like, fantasy thing. Like, they're always joking about, like, harems and shit like that. Like, I just, uh, love it. <laughs> That's one of the things I've noticed, is that, like, I don't like, uh, harem anime. Which is really, really weird, but, um, for a lot of reasons, <laughs> uh, considering my lifestyle uh, choices, but, um, like, here's the thing, here's the thing, like, like, every single harem protagonist I've ever seen in my life is a complete, like, dipshit, like, who, who would never actually have sex with anyone in their lives. Like, how do I get up there? Like, sh oh, you have to become an ant, fuck. Like, I, I just don't like that, um. Like, have it be a realistic. Have it be a Chad. Like, shit. Make it fun. Like, shit. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, I... Not gonna lie. Uh, one of my... Uh, I think one of the things I want to do is, like, uh, make a harem sort of, like, thing the way I would want to do it. So I would make it, like, cool and badass as fuck. Like, I would make all the girls, like, super interesting and the, the relationships, like, super complicated. But, um... I, I could do that. And, uh, I am... I could do it really well, and, um, obviously, like, it's still in, like, the planning stage and stuff like that. Actually, fuck! I had a really good idea about that, and I never wrote it down. Fuck. Like, shit. I had a really good concept, and I think I completely lost it. Fuck. I mean, that happens all the time, but it's like, ah, shit. Now that, I, now that I bring it up, it's like, ugh. I always have these ideas, but I don't have time to write everything down. It's just, ugh. Like, I don't put the effort in, mainly. Like, ugh. Alright. Oh, hang on. I didn't mean to, uh, ignore you. Let me get caught up on the chat here. Should I jump, go back to Treasure Trove Cove or should I, should I wander off to uh, the next area? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I would like to start watching uh, some more obscure anime, but I just haven't. Um, I, I've barely gotten into it. Like, it, it's taking me, it's taking me a while to get through a lot of stuff. Like, I'm in completely in love with like Legend of the Galactic Heroes right now. I'm like 15 episodes in. I think it's like great. I think it's about to get like become like goat worthy actually with the uh, the current storyline with uh, Reinhardt ordering <laughs> Reinhardt ordering the Empire to to take all the supplies off these like. Alliance uh, invaded planets. Oh, well, before they arrived, like I was just like, "Holy fucking shit! This is gonna, this is not gonna end well." Like, loved it. Um, it hasn't resolved itself yet, so I don't, don't spoil me on that. Actually, I, I stopped watching it because like someone showed up and like, eh. 
I think I was, like, about to uh, consider watching it, and then, like, someone came to my house, and I was like, fuck. And then, like, I had to leave, and then I had to, like, come home and decided I wanted to stream. It was like, ah, fucking love Legend of the Galactic Heroes, but I haven't fucking... All right. Love that show so far. Um, I, I am... At, at this point, like, I don't think it's my favorite ever, but I, I still really, really enjoy it a lot. Um, should I go in here? I, I'm kind of bored of this place. Where, where we go? Wait, what? Oh, did I... Yeah, should I, should I go back to Treasure Trail Cove? I might as well explore it all. Yeah, I, I love me some... Uh, I, I love uh, Legend of the Galactic Heroes so far. Honestly, like, I think it resonates a lot more with me than, like, Star Trek does, because Star Trek is... Uh, I, I cannot stand Star Trek's bullshit when it comes to, like, uh, justifying its, like, communistic, like, utopia. Like, yeah, we got, we got rid of, uh, we got rid of money, we, we got rid of racism, we got rid of, like, all this shit, like, you're not, you're not getting rid of shit, like, don't, don't delude yourself. Like, I legit, like, honestly, like, one of the, one of the big conspiracy theories I've had about Star Trek, well, pfft, one of the theories I had when, like, I watched, like, episode one a while back, I, I mean... Hearing people, like, describe Star Trek, uh, one of the theories I had was that, like, oh, Star Trek might actually be a, a dystopia, and they're just, uh, they're just deluding you, they're just lying to you when they talk about, like, how it's, like, perfect and stuff like that, because, because it just seems too ridiculous, like, oh, we've conquered all disease, oh, you don't have to work if you don't want to, oh, uh, you can live, like, <laughs> it, it's just, like, no, that's not gonna be, uh, that's not a thing. Like, I, I legit think that, like, a, a major reason that, like, uh, communism has taken off in the U.S. in the past, like, 50 years is because of, like, uh, st you know, shows like Star Trek, like, glamorizing it, like, presenting it as, like, if it's an actual practical, like, ideology. It isn't. It's just, uh... Like, I... Legend of the Galactic Heroes, like, does such a great job of, like, emphasizing, like, both sides of the conflict and, like, uh, their, their, their weak, like, uh, how they handle certain things and, uh, how they can be taken advantage of. Because, like, that's the thing about, like, the food thing. It's, uh, it's Reinhardt taking advantage of, like, the goodwill of, like, the Alliance. Because, like, that's what they're coming there to these planets to do, right? Is to, to liberate them from the Empire. So, like, of course they're going to, like, come in, uh, give them supplies, give, like, 50 million people their supplies, waste their own supplies feeding this, uh, starving population and, like, uh, making it easier for Reinhardt to, um, to, like, windle down their supplies, which was the entire point. Um, so, like, uh, it's, uh, it's, a uh, very, very, uh, tackle it, that show tackles really, really complex subjects. I, I'm super, super, uh, in love with it at the moment. I highly recommend it already, um. Like, honestly, I was thinking today, like, is Reinhardt, like, a better, uh, Griffith than Griffith, Griffith himself? Because, like, I don't know, like, maybe it's because, like, Legend of the Galactic Heroes is, like, so hard to find. Um, it was never translated to English. I don't think there's a manga. Uh, the, the anime isn't easily available. I had to, I had to get this, uh, really shitty, like, streaming service to watch it. Um, but, like, Reinhardt, like, to me, it's, like, what everyone thinks Griffith is. You know what I mean? Like, everyone, like, always talks this shit. Like, Griffith is hyped up to be, like, oh, this great leader. Oh, this great, like, uh, this great mind uh, with his uh, his deep, close relationship with, like, the people around him. And then, oh, he betrays them. And th th it just sort of happens in Berserk. Uh, with, with Legend of the Galactic Heroes, like, you see it happen. Like, Legend of the Galactic Heroes, in a lot of ways, is kind of what, like, I was hoping Berserk would be. Because Berserk, like, you know, the, the betrayal just kind of happens. Like, it's just, like, it's fated to happen. Uh, it's inevitable. But, like, in Legend of the Galactic Heroes, uh, Reinhardt's relationships with, like, the people around him, it seems so much more genuine. In spite of, like, this very, like, very underlying idea that, like, shit is about to, like, go down really, really, really hard. Like, I'm already, like, really worried about, like, Kerchies and, like, Anne Rose, who I'm already very, very attached to. Honestly, like, I honestly think I like Kerchies more than, like, uh, Reinhardt himself, uh, honestly, which is not something I would have expected uh, when I first saw the show. I thought he was, like, going to be, like, a, a sidekick, but no, he's actually, like, just as capable as Reinhardt himself, if not more so. Like, a lot of times, like, Reinhardt is, like, like, asking him, like, what he should do. 
like what he would do, and then like Kerchies is like, oh, I would do this, and like Reinhardt is like, haha, I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> so like my my conspiracy theory was that like, oh, uh, Reinhardt has no idea what he's doing, and he's just he's just using Kerchies to uh, come up with his strategies for him. But uh, I, I don't think that's what they were going for. But it's uh, it's kind of amusing to think about. Hey, I, I'm really enjoying the show so far for sure. Like, I heard they fucked it up with the remake, but, uh, I'm not, I don't know anything about that yet. I, I, I am watching the, uh, the 88 version. Like, I, I tend to always default to the originals, um, as you, as you know. Um, I mean, I talk shit about Final Fantasy VII R all the time. Like, why would I ever trust a remake of something? Like, I, I don't. Like, it always loses the point in my, uh, in my mind, usually. Unless it's, like, an adaption of something else. Like, I, I am, like, all for, like... Uh, film remakes of Harry Potter because like the uh, the film we the the films we got were just plain awful. Uh, but I wouldn't want like the books to be rewritten. That would be that'd be stupid. Yeah, one of the things yeah, Legend of the Galactic Heroes does a great job of sort of like making you care about like everyone involved in the conflict, like making you like understand their perspectives and things like that. It, it's it's wonderful. Spend like why don't you save that money, you fuck? All right. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, I really like Galactic Heroes a lot. I'm not sure if I would call it my favorite because I think like Yu Yu Hakusho, like I loved like uh, from the get go. I don't, I don't know, like, I love Yu Yu Hakusho, like, from episode one, but, like, it, it really does peter off around, like, uh, episode, the end of the Dark Tournament. Like, I, I hate the second half of Yu Yu Hakusho, even though it's, like, my all-time favorite anime. Like, I w I've been wondering for a while, do I, do I like Hajime no Ippo more? Do I like, oh, here we go. Yep, it's ready to start, okay. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Uh, should we play it a little bit more, or, yeah, you know what, I, I, I might as well beat Treasure Trove Cove since we're here. Yeah, it's ready to start, but uh, I might as well figure this out. Okay, what what were we what were we doing? Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, Legend of the Galactic Heroes is so good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to look at like um, some of the other stuff uh, online. I've been looking at like uh, best anime ever and stuff like that. I I've been recommended some stuff. Um, like I I'm ex already expecting to hate like a good deal of it. Um, I hated Evangelion, for example. Ooh, I did watch Evangelion. Uh, I can't think of any other anime I was recommended that I hated, though. Like, it's just... Like, Evangelion is, like, a really good example. I fucking hated that shit. Oh, JoJo's? Yeah, that was terrible. Uh, JoJo's was the worst. Um, like, what, what else is popular right now? Can anybody uh, give me recommendations since you got me started about this? Wait, I thought it was pointed this way. Oh, I got, oh, no, here it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe they should remake Yu Yu Hakusho and just make the second half, like, not... Yeah, remake the second half of Yu Yu Hakusho. Like, redo the animation, make it not terrible. Like, make the final fight not suck. Like, rewrite the entire thing. Just... Uh, I, I don't understand how they botched it that badly. It's it's legit, like, one of those shows that just, just, just dies. It's just... It's so frustrating. It is so frustrating, dude. Like, one of my all-time favorite shows. Yeah, I gotta finish Trigun. I gotta finish, like, uh... I gotta, I gotta, I gotta watch, like, all of Legend of the Galactic Heroes before, like, my, uh... I have to pay <laughs> for this, uh, for this subscription. Because, like, uh, the anime subscription I'm using to watch it is, like... The anime subscription I'm using to watch it is like the uh, the worst ever. Like it has this it has this terrible interface. Like it doesn't have anything to watch. Like the legit the only reason the only thing I could find I wanted to watch on that thing was like fucking was fucking Legend of the Galactic Heroes. And I think like I think it has some of the movies as well. I'm not sh how does this random ass anime streamers with literally nothing else 
have like Legend of the Galactic Heroes on. I don't understand it. Like, why does no one else have it? Like, how does this work? Like, do you have to pay a licensing fee or what? Like, it's just, it, it's just obnoxious. I, I legit would have preferred it to be on like something else, but uh, as it stands, or, do I, do, how many do I have? Yeah, nine out of ten. Uh, it takes me about half an hour to get through this. Uh, yeah, I don't know where... I don't remember the last one is. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's probably in a treasure chest or some shit. I think I forgot the one in a treasure chest. Oh, oh, did I not get all the Jinjos? No, I did. Yeah. Yeah, I got all the Jinjos. Uh, I remember getting all the Jinjos. Uh, could it be this one? I don't think I jumped in here. But yeah, I'm a big anime fan. I just don't have enough time to watch it, honestly. Oops, here we go. It feels like I'm making excuses, but I don't know. Honestly, like, I, I'm more interested in, like, finishing a lot of my books that I have lying around. Well, not just writing my books, but uh, reading them. Because, like, I have a bunch of shit that I've never read uh, that I've heard is just wonderful. And I, I'm reading, like, uh, something called The Asian Saga Now, which is honestly, like, I think... Uh, I would actually recommend that to any, any anime fan. I would, uh... Highly recommend that. I'll be talking about that on the website at some point. Definitely. Uh, I, I've um, I've uh, already talked about this at length, but uh, the Asian saga, it's essentially like an, an epic sort of um, sort of story about like the English uh, this uh, first interacting with the Japanese. So it's like historical fiction. So like you, you have like uh, this Englishman learning about Japanese culture for the first time and like dealing with like the samurai and shit like that. Awesome shit. It is legit like... It is legit really, really engaging. I uh, I think it's one of the best books I've read in a long time, honestly. Um, in my opinion. Um, I think a big part of that is because, like, it's so, like... Uh, it's one of those things. Like, I don't think it's the best written thing ever, but uh, it has that... Uh, it's just really appealing to me. It, it really suits my interest. I would, I would highly recommend it um, already. It's a long one, though. It's taking me forever to get through. Like, I read, like, a hundred pages last night, and, uh, <laughs> it turned out I barely, like, even, even got into it. It's just, uh, like, I'm not even halfway through yet. It's just, it's so fucking long, and I, and I don't usually have the time to, uh, I haven't had the time to, like, sit down and read it, really. I mean, what? Like, I stream, like... You know, I'm, I'm writing my own books, I'm streaming all the time, I'm watching anime, like, I just, uh... Actually, I'm not really doing a whole lot, honestly. I, I, uh, I feel just... Oof. Here we go. I should go get that. I don't know, like, lately I've been, like... Well, I, I've recovered from being sick, so it's like, uh... Uh, no, I did not have COVID. Uh, <laughs> uh, recently, I felt really, really sick and not really able to do much, so, like, I've only just now, uh, sort of figured out what was wrong with me. Uh, I wasn't eating enough, apparently. Oh, here we go. So like now I'm able to do stuff again, but it's gonna be a while before I uh, get through that thing. Yeah, I wonder when uh, Spider-Man is gonna come out on PC. It's it's basically inevitable, but. Probably sometime if the DLC comes out. Maybe a year. Uh. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't know how you would figure this out, but okay. Um, I don't remember how I figured it out the first time. You know, you know what I really like about this game? Uh, it actually, uh, has, um, secrets. It actually has cheat codes. Like, Diddy Kong Racing did as well. Like, it feels like this was the last gasp of, like, uh, cheat codes in gaming. Like, after this, it feels like they, uh, they kind of teepered off a bit. Like, Nintendo never really had them, obviously, but, uh... CZ. Where's the Z? Where's the Z? Oh, here it is. Oh, it's written on the wall. Yeah, obviously. And you gotta fight this super grab.
I love how this guy talks to sh talks all this shit, but then he can't like fight for fight at all. Like what a what a loser. Like I'm gonna kick your ass, and then you just ugh. wow. All right, here we go. That's ten of them, I think. Is that all of them? Yep, yeah, it's all of them. All right, we got him. <laughs> 20 20 percent of the game um, in like less than an hour, I think. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, yeah, one of my all-time favorites games for sure. Um, never gets old, I think. I hope I could ever sometime, someday make something this good. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man 2. <laughs> People... <laughs> People still talk about those games. I thought they were just uh, licensed shit. Huh. I mean, I, I guess they are, but... Oof. Kind of a weird conversation to be having in my uh, comment section. I, I, uh, Amazing Spider-Man did come out on Wii U, and I did not buy it, so... That, that's kind of my opinion on uh, licensed games. I, I don't care about them that much. I don't even, like... <laughs> I'm such an elitist, I don't even like the Batman Arkham games. Like, that's how much I, uh, fucking despise, uh... Despise the, uh... the licensed games and streams. And honestly, like, in recent years, like, it feels like most licensed games just go to phones. Like, if they put put them on consoles, they tend to make them really, uh, try to put effort into them. They've been a lot better lately. Like, the Harry Potter one might actually be decent. Uh, oops. Maybe. Like, that's a very big maybe. Um, I'm a big Harry Potter fan, obviously, so, like, if it, when it comes out on Xbox, I might as well, ch I might check it out. If, uh, please, please let me, uh, please put, like, uh, please put Avada Lynch in the game, and please let me, uh, date her, like, that's it. Like, like make Avada Lynch a waifu, like, or her version of Luna a waifu, well, pfft. like, I guess this is before Luna, but shit. But yeah, they're not gonna do that, they're not gonna pimp out Ivana. Ugh. Classic vintage Ivana, before she, like, became a vegan and vegan and ruined herself, like, shit. She's still, like, super, super nice. But holy shit, does she, like, look terrible now. It's it's so frustrating. Um, I mean, she's really pro-gay marriage, though, so that's kind of a thing. Well, it's a, it's a woman's opinion. Like, you tell her no. Oops. Oops. No, Ivana. No gay marriage. Oops. Oops. Oh yeah, that's another interesting thing. Uh, with uh, Ginsburg gone, people are seriously speculating that we might actually be able to get rid of gay marriage, which, holy shit, that would be great. Uh, wait, do we go up here? Or... Where is the thing? Wait. Like, honestly, like, the states never really uh, wanted gay marriage. It was kind of forced upon us by the uh, corrupt political establishment. Oops. So yeah, getting rid of that would be wonderful. I Okay, I want Clanker's Cavern. Where the fuck, where the fuck is it? Where, where is the, where's the panic? Oh, it's up here, isn't it? Yes, uh, I'm really enjoying Game Pass so far. I think it's a good deal. I think it's a good investment, especially since like you're paying for uh, live as well. Like, and it's gonna help me keep up to date with like all these, um, all these Xbox games. So, yeah, without having to buy them. Honestly, like, I, I one of the big reasons I stopped buying Xbox games was because uh, so many of them are just. Um, not worth playing. Like, you saw with Soul Calibur 6 that, like, I played it for, like, an hour and I was like, yeah, I'm done with this. Forever. Like, what? I would never have bothered playing it if it, like, I had to buy it for $60, but because it was on Game Pass, I did play it, and I do have an opinion on it now. Uh, I think Game Pass is gonna be big for that reason. It's gonna let people try uh, games they otherwise would never have played, and maybe they'll be wrong about them. Maybe they'll like them. Like, I'm hoping this sort of, um, helps uh, games like Dragon Quest XI and uh, Yakuza find an audience, but... I mean, I'm not optimistic about that, because uh, most mainstream gamers are pretty stupid, but uh, pretty low IQ, but I, I think it's doable. Wait, how do I get back up? Oh. Here we go. Yeah, I would have loved to stream Yakuza tonight, but unfortunately it was like, it was literally the last game on the list <laughs> that I, uh, so, so like, it's not gonna, it's gonna be like the very last thing I download and, uh, so disappointing. Oops, here we go. Here we go. Here's the switch. Yeah, 
Yeah, Yakuza, I, I don't know. Like, I, I love Yakuza 5, but 3, like, bored me to tears, and I couldn't finish it. Um, so, like, I, I'm curious as whether 5 is the only good one or not. Um, I expect I'll like 0, but I'm not sure about Kiwami and Kiwami 2. I told 3 was the worst one, which is one of the reasons I started with it. But, uh, yeah, 5, like, literally changed my life, man. It was one of, one of the most, like, manly games I've ever played in my life, and, uh, I don't know, I was so disappointed in 3 for not quite living up to those expectations. It was nice seeing, like, the kids and, like, orphanage and stuff like that, like, dealing with those people, but other than that. Honestly, like, I was way more invested in Haruka as a character in, like, 5. Like, in 3, she's just kind of there, it's just, ugh. I hopefully I'll be, uh, more of a fan of her in, uh, in one, in, uh, in the older games. I, like, six is about her getting pregnant and becoming a thought, so I'm just like, okay, how am I gonna feel about that? That's gonna be... I'm told that entire story element is, like, dumb as fuck, but, uh, I, I know nothing about it. I know nothing about what happens in the Akaza 6, other than, like, shit they were talking about, like, pre-release. Like, I was hearing speculation about shit, like, oh, maybe the baby isn't actually hers, like, about who the father was, like, it just, ugh. Yeah, Yakuza 6 is not on Xbox yet, is it? Like, they really... Did they really keep that one PlayStation exclusive? What are they thinking? But yeah, I was a big, big fan of Yakuza 5. Uh, honestly, like, I was thinking, you know, maybe I should, like, take some of those, like, aspects of Yakuza 5 and incorporate them as a rabbit hole. Like, it, it, it's kind of weird, right? Oops, uh, oops, there we go. Wait, is it open? Wait, what the fuck did I do? Wait. Huh? Wait. What? What the fuck? Wait. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking about Yakuza. I was talking about rabbit hole and I got distracted. Like, oh, uh, my... Okay, so, um, the thing about rabbit hole, it, it's basically about a martial artist, you know, like, contemporary, yeah, 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 inspired by Shenmue. So, like, Obviously, like, it has a lot in common with, like, Yakuza as well, but, like, I, I wasn't actively, like, thinking about Yakuza when I was working on Rabbit Hole, when I, when I was out uh, writing Rabbit Hole. Oh, it's Bubble Goop Swamp. Shit. I thought it was Clanker's Cavern. Wait, where the fuck is Clanker's Cavern? I thought Clanker's Cavern was first. Wait. 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 Yeah, where is the thing to Clanker's Cavern? Yeah, like, I, I go to Clanker's Cavern first, and then... I can't believe I can't remember where the painting is. Like, what what am I doing? All right. So yeah, Rabbit Hole was like uh, designed to be like similar to Shenmue more than anything. So like, it's about like it, it's this really lengthy story about a martial artist like going up against these uh, these people and this group of people. Uh, and and it was meant to like resemble Shenmue and like uh, the sort of like uh, everyday life kind of thing. Um, Ra Yakuza is a bit more like. Uh, has, like, a lot more characters, I would say. Like, it doesn't always focus on, like, her, you all the time. Like, Rabbit Hole is very fo focused on this one character, this one protagonist, uh, Will Wei. So I would say it's more uh, similar to Shenmue than anything. Oops, we got... Oh, is it down here? No, is it up here? Okay, that's where it was. Okay. What the fuck? Yeah, I need to watch Twin Peaks. I, I really liked what I watched of it, but I just didn't get... It went off Amazon Prime before I finished it. So, like, a dumbass, I, like, started it, got into it, and um, didn't watch the entire thing. So, uh, I'm probably going to have to wait for it to go on Amazon Prime again, which I, I think is... Uh, I don't think is... Uh, I'm not sure how likely that is. We'll, we'll have to see, but uh, I, I will watch it if it goes on. To be fair, though, to be fair, though, like, I have a bazillion things to watch. So it's, it's really difficult for me to stay on top of everything. Like, I have, like, an entire, like, Batman cartoon to go through. Like, I have all this anime to get through. Like, fucking <laughs> books are, like, I, I am, a, I have an insane backlog of media to watch. Uh, Twin Peaks is not high on my list. And uh, it, it's a shame, because I think it's legitimately great. It's just, ugh. It's just one of those things where I'm just, ugh. I don't know. I don't focus my entire life around, like, entertainment. Like, I really don't. Um, other than, like, video games... Like, video games are probably, like, the form of entertainment, like, I 
spend the most time on, and that's mostly because they're so fucking long. And there's so fucking many of them that I want to play all the time. It's just... Uh, yeah, TV shows I'm getting more into. Cartoons I think I'm uh, completely out of, honestly. Almost completely out of. Like, Invader Zim, I was expecting to be, like, great when I uh, bought it again. Like, I was uh, really excited about checking that out after years of not seeing it, and I, I was surprised at how much I didn't like it as an adult. Because um, I thought it was hilarious when I was a kid. But, uh. Yeah, that is... Weren't, like, weren't there, like, plenty of people who were, like, terrified of this fucking thing? <laughs> like, they, they go through this pipe and they see fucking Clanker there. Suppose he's friendly, but it's just weird. All right. It's such, like, a unique area, too. Uh... Wait, where, the, where are the bubbles? Don't tell me I'm gonna drown. Oh, here we go. Yeah, thanks a lot, fish. Uh, you took a little bit too long. Oops. How's it, Jinjo? I'm Gloop. Grab my bubbles if you're low on air. Gotta love how like all the uh, all the characters tell you their names. It kind of feels like you know you know how in, like uh, the credits of Donkey Kong Country how the, all the characters have names like this is their way of like incorporating it into the actual gameplay like all the characters just introduce themselves. So this guy just spends his entire life down here and just spitting out bubbles for bears. Okay. Uh, I love how like Resident Evil Seven is ready to play now and I haven't even touched it yet. I, I probably should go ahead and do that. Yeah, I love this game. It's fantastic. Yeah, I think I'm gonna uh, raise Clanker and then probably just uh, not sign off, but uh, pop in some Resident Evil 7. How are you supposed to figure this out? Like, how does that make any sense? Oh, just... Yeah, spin the key by going through... What sense does that make? Alright, here we go. Like, I think it took me forever to figure that out. I think. Like, if I did it, it was an accident. Oops. Uh. Now, there's, there's a lot of things in this game that takes a while to figure out. But, like, the areas are so small, it's not exactly... There's so little there, it's kind of, like, obvious, I think, to figure... Sort of... Oh, it's shaped like a key. It's shaped like a heart. Is that the original uh, Kingdom Hearts key? All right. So, Clanker, you are the true origin of uh, Kingdom Hearts. All right. All right, so he's raised up. Okay. Clanker has fresh air. You find reward on Clanker's back. I guess I should grab it before I, I uh, switch games. All right. Uh... I don't get why Clanker is so rusty, it just... I guess he is, like, a, a garbage disposal unit. But... I know, Banjo is, like, so creative. Like, who could have come up with this? Like, the first two areas seem kind of standard, but then you come to this, and it's like, wow, this is, this is kind of a really creative. Huh? Okay, I think that's good enough. Uh, let's play some Banjo. I mean, not Banjo. Uh... Okay, let's go ahead and uh, save and quit. Oh, does it save automatically in this version? I think it does. Yeah, I've played All in Wake. I gotta, I gotta play. I gotta, I gotta finish it actually. All right, ready to start. Forty-three percent in. Uh, yeah, we might as well uh, get started on Resident Evil Seven. Yeah, so I guess I will be playing Resident Evil 8 on Game Pass um, when it comes out on it. I mean, I like Resident Evil 7 enough to uh, to play. Uh, 
to buy Resident Evil 8, but I have enough faith in them, actually, to, uh, to do it now. No save data exists. Oh, wait, but what about my PC version? Uh, yeah, I'll gladly start from the beginning in order to, like, not avoid not having to, avoiding having to play on the PC. All right. Holy shit, is it that late? What am I doing? Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, normal, I guess. Yeah, we already. See, I've already seen like. I'm gonna get some more tea. Damn. She's ugly as fuck. Mia. Okay. Babysitting? Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. I have some questions about this. So your wife goes to like another country for babysitting? There's no way that he's not getting cucked hard. I mean, this is not the entire point of the game. Is that like she's gotten to shit that like... Alright. Yep, yep, he's a cuck. Stay away. Okay, whatever. Whatever, Mia. So this is probably the best Resident Evil game since 4. I mean, honestly, like, this is the one that, uh... I could tell at a glance seemed to be, like, more involving, more interesting. Like, better made than... The ones in the past, um, they really made the right, yeah. right call with uh, what the, the changes they made with this one. It's Mia. She's just not dead. She's alive. She's, she's back. I'm really curious to how uh, Eight is going to build off this. I don't know. I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. Maybe it's a prank. She wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby, Dolby, Louisiana. I know, I know. What, what if it is her? Three years? <laughs> He's been waiting for this bitch to come back for three years? Like, shit. Alright. Okay, this entire setup is just... Okay, uh, keep your eyes off the road. Uh, maybe we'll see the girl on the... Uh... Yeah, this is definitely something I want to stream. This is... Alright. Alright, put the car in park. Take the key. Alright, let's get out of the car and go get my woman. Alright. Shit. This is the place. All right, we'll see her. All right, let's go see him. Let's go find Mia. Oops. She's alive. Travel to Louisiana. All right. Check your objective. Oh man, it's a mansion. All right, uh, I guess we're going around. Let's see, what's this? Sewer Gators, project proposal. Sneak into a Louisiana ghost house. Join us. Uh, okay. I mean, if people are living there, accept her gift. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's just walk, 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 walk. It's a walking simulator. I hope I didn't go back the way I came from. Like, all right. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, man. Uh, wait. Come back here. Wait. Shit. Oh, how convenient. He just disappears. Like, shit. All right. Gee, super spooky. All right. Uh, except for my sister, I'll make her your wife. All right. 
What is this? Uh, I don't even know what this is, but okay. I, I can't make it out. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Okay, uh, it's just a bunch of like horse legs. Like what? Okay. All right. Uh... A bag. All right. Uh, what's in here? Driver's license. Texas. Wait. Who? Whose driver's license was that? Was that Mia? Wait. Mia's driver's license. Aha. Okay. So it's definitely. Uh, so she's definitely here. It's not. Uh, it's not Ethan's imagination. He's not desperately like trying to get his woman to come back. Oof. All right. What the fuck is this? Alright. Yeah, I do love the way this is, like, executed. Uh, you could you could see the PT influences here. Honestly, like, this is way more appealing to me than uh, PT was, because it actually... Hey, whoa, watch your mouth, boy. Uh... You can't use that here? Oh, whatever. Whatever. Uh, who puts? I, how? Why did they let the house get so filthy? All right. Whatever. Uh, uh, let me see here. What's the deal with this? Uh, Uh, what the fuck is this? Oh, anyway. Uh. Yeah, we'll need to fix that. Uh. <laughs> the piano just doesn't want me to touching it. Alright. Uh, okay, I need a, I need a VHS. Gotta love how, uh. Gotta love how this game, uh, this peep, these people, uh, still use VHS, to, VHS types, uh. That is uh, something special. Uh, uh, I mean, they have to be rich too. I mean, they, like, how many houses do they fucking have? All right. Uh, uh, yeah, I've, I've played this before, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I've played through this part before, but I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm an idiot. All right. Yeah, how much do I should I play? Do you think until I get stuck? Or yeah, I, I like to stream the entire thing. This is definitely like a stream game. Oops. It's made to be a stream game. Yeah, I wonder how this is gonna work. As uh, now that I know like the gimmick, like when you turn your back on one of the guys, he like wanders off. So like, I I think if you. What will happen? Is there a way to eyes on both of them? Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Did you find this guy? Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want to repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. What the fuck? Uh, what assholes? Who's the new guy? Not feeling him. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. Wow. Okay. Walk through the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just, just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shit. Happy? Static. Alright. It was like a nightmare, and it's. Okay. 
Yes, I've been roll. Ah, yes, great. Great TV personality. Can't even open a door. It's locked, you idiot. Oh, wow, he just kicks it open. All right. Oh, you can't follow him? Ah, bullshit. So he just... He, so you can't follow him through there. Alright. Ah. So he immediately, like, take... So he immediately just takes off and you can't follow him. Okay. Alright. Uh, that was kind of a lazy way to keep me in that room. Like, hey, I would have followed him if the game let me... Oh, wait, hang on. By the way, I completely forgot to turn the, uh, the subtitles on. Uh, I didn't forget, but it's like... Uh, it didn't let, give me an option at the beginning. Where's the subtitles? Wait, hang on. Here we go. On. Like, they should be. All right. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you, you stick with me. I thought I was the cameraman. I didn't hear shit. Uh, just go in, you pussy. Right. Why do I have to wait for you to open the door? I would do it myself. All right. Andre? Andre, where are you, man? Yeah, I don't know. Uh. Oh. So he just randomly just walks in this room. I love how this guy just walks into a room and just immediately finds a secret passage. He's like, he's like a, he's not a very good uh, paranormal investigator, but he's really good at finding, finding secrets in old houses. Like, what about that fireplace made him like want to like just go over there and just prod it? Just there. Uh, What a piece of shit. All right. What do you see? What is it? What? Oh, hey, Andre. Oof. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Poor Andre. <laughs> oh no, if only he hadn't uh oof. Gee, I wonder Jesus. We better go down the same road. Uh Let us meet the same fate. Uh 
Damn, I would love to have some of something like this built to my house. How expensive would that be, though? Like, you would have to, like, build this secret passage. I don't know. It just seems kind of... It just seems kind of ridiculous. And does anybody anywhere have them? Like, I would want one, but... I don't know. How much would that cost? It's just... Ugh. Yeah, I should Google it. I want secret passages in my house. Like, when I buy a castle, it's uh, gonna have secret passages. Oops. Alright, uh... Yeah, the game is definitely immersive. That's one of the things I think it's, uh... One of its strong points. It's, like, super, super, like... Super, super, like, um... It really does feel like you're there. That's definitely something I really appreciate it in, uh, in first-person games. Ah. Uh. Uh-oh. Is that the camera guy, or is that Andre, or... Oh, by the way, we never saw what happened to the third guy, so maybe he got out okay. <laughs> yeah, of course not, but okay. You don't get away from the mansion in Resident Evil. Oops. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Just scrolling through the corridor. Yeah. It's Mia. She doesn't respond. Like, why don't you just call out to her? Alright. Let's see. It's, where's, the, where's the key? Ben dead. Harold turned. Arthur turned. Tamara turned. Craig dead. Layla dead. Sean dead. <laughs> Sean of the dead. William dead. Travis turned. Peter dead. Andre dead. Clancy L. The fuck does L mean? Like, that was the camera guy, right? So, uh... Did he get away? Or, or what? That was the guy you were playing as in the camera section, right? Did he get away? Alright, let's see. Uh... This might not be a good idea. Mia, you look better than when you did when I saw you last. I don't, I don't understand this at all. I never, I didn't finish the game when I played it last, so I don't understand uh, any of this bullshit. She looks better than when like we saw her last. What's the deal with that? She looks completely different. Like, I don't know. Turning into like a freak has made her like more sexually attractive. Uh, what's, what's the deal with that? I've never. Was that like a plan of Umbrellas? Like, was that Umbrellas plan? We gotta, we gotta make these zombies hot as fuck. Oops. Assuming this has anything to do with Umbrella, which I don't think it does. What they do here? Not now. We need to get out of here first. Oh, stay away from me. Uh. All right. All right. Whatever. I, I, you think it's one of the game's weaknesses, though. It's really, really scripted. It works, like, the first time you go through it, but uh, on repeat th playthroughs, it's kind of, uh... Mia, we have to talk. That message you sent. Not, not me. That, that wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just, just tell She's not even looking at me. Yet. Like, what the fuck? Everything that I know. We have to go this way. Like, the game really does expect you to, like, go along the set path of just following this bitch, like, super closely. Like, staring at her ass the entire time. Oh, 
It's there. Oh, we're safe. All right. Once we go through this door, it's uh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Uh, I'm sure that's not going to end badly. I left for like two seconds and she immediately gets abducted. Like shit, this bitch is worse than Princess Peach. Alright. Like, shit, like, that was like, what, five seconds? I immediately made a beeline for it. Picked up the doll, dropped it, turned around, and she was gone. Like, shit, alright. Alright, uh. Well, it's a good thing they leave maps of their houses, their house just lying around. Uh. going on? Hey, what? Oh, shit. Mia, you don't look so good. Oh, whoops. Oh, no. My girlfriend has super strength. Oh, I'm sorry. My, my wife. Shit. Mia, no, no. I'm the one that's supposed to be penetrating you. Okay, no, no, stop it, no, fuck. Yep, goodbye to my hand. Oh, fuck, okay. Wait. Wait. Get away from me. Oh, shit, all right. Yeah, she stabbed my hand and I'm just telling her to wait. Like, wait, no, Mia, don't do this. Please, don't. No, stop, please. Mia, what are you doing? Like, I can hear her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside me. Dad, no! Leave me alone! I'm coming back. So you're a bad girl? Shit. Yeah, yeah, you bet you're bad. You stabbed me through the hand. Yeah. Uh, she's your wife? Alright. Uh, hang on. Yeah, I love how you're just supposed to leave her here. Like, really? Like, fucking really? Wait, are you supposed to... Yeah, are you supposed to go back downstairs, or...? She does... You do something to trigger her, right? Oh, she locked the door behind her. How convenient. Uh, uh, what? What just happened there? Oh, I just ducked. Whoa, bitch, you don't have to tell me twice, like, shit. Oh. No! 
Ah, damn, this is kind of a... Damn, is this the only game ever where you get to beat the shit out of your wife? Like, damn, Ethan, what are you doing? Shit. Damn, that's brutal. It's an evil seven. <laughs> the world's best spousal abuse simulation. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, and she looks... No, she's normal again. You murdered your wife. You went full Silent Hill 2. You fucking idiot. All right, can I take my can I take my axe back? Fuck. All right, whatever. All right. Well, that's it. I guess I'm a single man now. I better I better go find a new woman. Oops. I need to find a new wife, one who isn't fucking insane. Uh, oops. All right. Uh Oh, could you be my new wife? Oh, oops. Yeah, my first girlfriend was named Zoe. So, uh, goes the reason that my last should be, too. Alright, oops. Alright. Fuck. Da, da, da. Oh, oh, yeah, she's gone. So she just, like, sneaks out. Like a, like a, like a salty bit. Like, like a little bitch. Like, okay, she opens the door. It's so, like, why do these people have the inability, the, the ability to, like, inexplicably open doors? All right, so, uh, wait a minute. What was I doing? Uh, I know, I'm sick of people telling me I shouldn't have come here. Like, I know I shouldn't have come here, but I liked my wife and I wanted her back. Like, shit. Like, stop reminding me that she's in a bad situation. Okay. Ugh. I mean, shit, like, her problems are my problems, right? Like, shit, I, I, I'll, I'll protect her. Like, shit, that's, uh, that's my job. I'm her husband. All right. Yeah, sure, I might have to put a ha an axe through her head a couple of times, but, all right. Um, in the end, I will always be there for her. Oops, all right. Seriously, though, like, this is the most brutal, like, fucking, oof. This has to... <laughs> Again, spousal abuse assimilation, like shit. I cannot think of a single game where you beat the shit out of your wife with an axe. Like, alright. Like, Silent Hill 2 is about, like, killing your wife. Well, I don't know. I've never played Silent Hill 2, but. Alright, uh. Wait, where do I go from here? Okay. Like, it has something to do with, uh, fucking around with, uh, the, the, the valve, right? Did I pick it up by accident, or... No. But where the fuck is it? Is it in the other room? It has to be, right? It has to be back here, right? Somewhere? Okay, look at all these books. Shit. Uh, where am I going? All right, where is the? Yeah, I really like this game a lot. Um, in spite of every, <laughs> in, spite, um, in spite of how scripted it is, um, it's definitely like pretty mo fun and memorable. I think it's one of those things that like uh, a sequel would really improve on. So that's one of the reasons I'm so I'm so anxious for Resident Evil Eight is because I, I expect it to be a massive massive improvement in every way, shape, and form. Can I just get out of here and leave? Like, can I just walk out? Like, just... Oh, that's right. Like, all these doors are conveniently locked. So the only way out of the building is the fucking, like... Uh, for some inexplicable reason, it's to... Uh, like, go up to the attic. Like, why couldn't I just go out through a window or the front door? Like, why... Why does the game make it so complicated to leave a fucking house? Like, I don't... I don't understand it. Alright. Oh no, a locked door. It's not like this very same locked door... This very same door was kicked in by fucking... By a dude who was immediately hacked off. Uh, alright. Uh... Oh, hey, it's Mia. Hey, 
She's gonna jump out at me, isn't she? Like, why is she just wandering around the dark? All right. Do. Ah, no. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Oh, yeah, I'm sure I would never do anything to hurt you. Yeah, that shadow doesn't look suspicious at all. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever. What is she doing? Wait. And you fucking dipshit, it's it's a screwdriver. Ah. How hard is it to just pull that thing out? Alright. And she hacks off your hand, just uh. Damn! Imagine sleeping with this bitch. Like shit, he probably nailed that. Yeah, and I'm just like sort of just chilling with a, a severed hand like shit. Hey man, at least I can uh, pull off that Luke Skywalker cosplay. Alright, uh. So I'm just wandering around with this, with a fucking severed hand, like shit. Oh man, like he doesn't even say anything. He's just like, you know, that bitch may have taken her my may have taken my hand off. She may have just cut it clean off with a chainsaw. But you know what? She did lose weight, and I'm proud of her for that. And uh, I really do want to smash her. Just all right. Like Ethan, you fucking cuck. Like how? Like how much? How many red flags do you need before you, t you decide it's, like, time to leave? Like, shit. Like, I would have been out by the time she was, like, sending me these messages. Like, talking about how she's going to be home soon. Like, shit. Oh, I'm really enjoying this uh, babysitting job. Like, sure. <laughs> like, sure. You don't know where I am or what I'm doing. But, I, but I'm totally having a great time uh, without you, my husband. Like, shit. Isn't that, like, a major red flag? Like, in and of itself, like, even without all this supernatural shit, even out without, like, cutting off my hand, like, come on, come the fuck on, Mia. Uh. How did she get up here? Mia, fuck off. Can I just let her do that, like a dipshit? But Mia, I love you. Uh, I want to put my penis inside of you. All right. No. Like, let's be real. Like, this is the reason he's here. Because he really, really wants to smash Mia again. Uh. Uh, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you were always watching me? <laughs> Why do you think? Okay. Uh. Ah, shit. Like, bitch, like, you're, you're trying to murder me. I don't have an opportunity to go back home. Like, shit. Damn, alright. Damn. Damn, that is not... Okay. Yeah, I think that fucked up that. Damn. Imagine being Ethan right now. Just fuck. You are dead. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Ethan is not dead. I'm dead. Uh, Ethan didn't die. I died. Uh, just, uh. Well, I would never have put myself in that situation. Mia is a crazy bitch. Like, like you didn't need you didn't need to like see the haunted house and have her cut off her cut off your hand to see that. Like shit. 
Okay, uh... Does she know I'm in here? Oh, uh, wait, how did she- OH SHIT! What the fuck? What the fuck was that? How did she get in here? Wait, what was that? How did she get in here so quickly? Wait. Like, what the fuck was that? How did she get in here so quickly? Like, I just ran in there and since she was right behind me making a beeline for me. Like, fuck. Okay, uh. Yeah, fuck you, Mia, you piece of shit. Uh. Yeah, this is uh, a really good depiction of marital bliss right here. Shit. Yeah, boom. Oh, fuck. She got me. You piece of shit. Uh, bitch. All right. I want a divorce. Like, shit. All right. Oops. I get her? Did we get her? Oh, wait. No, fuck. Oh, damn, she got me! Again! <sighs> the psychopathic bitch. Alright. How many hits can she take? Like, shit. Alright. Me up, me up, me up. Let me buy, okay? Like, shit. Alright. Shit, like, uh. Running in the 90s. Alright. Ah, oh, oops. I should probably just keep my eyes on her at all times, just so she doesn't sneak up on me. Oh, what the fuck? What was that? She just immediately. Brings it up in front of her. All right, bitch. All right. It's up to me. She has a chainsaw. What am I supposed to do? Like, okay. Like, I'm supposed to just keep hitting her, right? Just keep hitting her over and over again until she finally gives up. Like, shit. Fuck. This bitch is just. Ugh. This bitch needs to be taught a lesson. Ugh. All right. Alright, uh... Hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, this isn't that scary. It's not like I'm married to this girl. <laughs> it's, like, it's not like I decided that, like, yeah, this girl, she's the one. Yeah, wouldn't that, like, make this scarier if, like, you created your own character and then, like, Mia was your girlfriend? <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Uh, if it was, like, a dating sim, oops, maybe that would be, uh, maybe this would be scary. Oops, okay. Fuck, oh, shit. Oh, did I get her? Oh, fuck. I think I got her. What the fuck? Wait. Wait, what happened? I triggered like some kind of QTE, but I failed. All right, hang on. Yeah, I'm not very good at uh, these Mia fights. I just, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, like call me weird, but I don't like the idea of hitting your wife. All right. Uh. All right. Uh, I'm making like so many spousal abuse jokes. Like shit. Uh. No, Mia, you'll make more money in a divorce. You don't need to kill me. All right, uh...
actually talking about? Like, no, you will stay away from me, you bitch. All right. Let's... Okay. Oh, damn. Okay, I got her. Oh shit, she pinned me! Oh, the bitch pinned me! Wait, no, okay. Uh, yeah, she pinned me against the wall. Alright, uh. No, bad. Bad Mia. Fuck. Mia, you don't need to do this. Alright. Like straight down the middle. Did that get my did that get my penis? Like ah uh, fuck. Ah, uh, damn. This is embarrassing. Why can't I win? It's Is this like supposed to be some kind of like crazy allegory for like marriage? Like you can't win? Like the dude can't win? Oh, okay. Uh have a chainsaw like I can't forget you if I tried all right all right and she has like crazy range too so it's like really difficult for me to beat her all right uh, yeah okay I'll, I'm gonna okay so what I should do is just bait her into Swinging? Oh, fuck. But I can't get out of the way fast enough. Alright, here we go. talking about her dialogue is so nonsensical like Ethan when I'm picking up bullets but I don't have a gun was I supposed to find a gun already maybe that's why I'm having such a big deal with this I, I didn't pick up the gun oh sweet okay so there is a gun all right hey where is she oh fuck Ah, uh, yeah, shooting your, shooting your wife with a gun. Uh, Resident Evil. This is classic RE right here. It was fun. What is she talking about? How did I open that door with one hand and a... While reloading a pistol? Okay. Alright, shit. I get her? She did? Aw, oh, sweetie, I love you too. Okay. Uh, Alright. Uh, kind of an interesting uh, marriage we have here. I can't believe I forgot that gun was in that room. Because I definitely picked it up last time. Like, the instant I, like, thought about it, I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Where did this douchebag come from? Alright. Alright, whatever. Okay, like... Oh, come on! It has... So you can play through that portion, but not shit. Fuck. So it's not done installing, so we're, uh, we're fucked for now. So you have to wait for it to, to finish before you can keep playing? What sense does that make? That's such a weird requirement, isn't it? 
Like, all right. Uh, all right, that's um. I've been streaming for like four hours, so I think that's uh, I think that's enough. I had a lot of fun though. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely playing more Resident Evil Seven on stream. Uh, honestly, probably tomorrow night. Um, yeah, I think I'll play through the entire thing on stream. Uh, a lot of fun to play. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Um, we, might, we might as well look at all the other things uh, I want to play uh, on stream. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Ori, uh, Fable. I might as well try Fable. Alan Wake, Ace Combat. Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of these, a lot of these games, I think, would be uh, fun to stream. Uh, Battletoads. I could really got Master Chief Collection. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Um, no Man's Sky. Uh, I would love to finally, finally play No Man's Sky and finally, finally put the narrative to rest that uh, No Man's Sky is not good and never will be good. All right, so, uh, oof, man, I really wanted to, I really wanted to keep playing, but like, I think that's uh, that make, that's what makes it so good. It's still, still so much fun to play. Um, all right, so. Wait, can I keep going? Like, why did it kick me back to the menu? Why did it kick me back to the menu if it could continue? But honestly, like, I think I am done. Uh, all right, so uh, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll be sure to come back tomorrow night. Uh, be sure to check out my website at blackcatbooks.org. Uh, I'll probably be talking about this game at some point or another because I really do like it a lot. I think it's great. Um,